what she has in store for us. Hi, I'm Kega, and I run Final Fantasy X CSR specifically. And today we're going to do an RNG fix run, which means that, as you've already heard, I can't track it. Uh, so it's going to be a bit chaotic, and I am very excited to show it to you. Um, we'll see what the game actually does to me in the meantime. And I would like to introduce um, my commentators, which are Kuku and Nikki. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, and Soph. Hello, so, everyone. Uh, you, you guys can introduce. Yeah, I'm Nikki, uh, speedrunning lots of Final Fantasies, including this one, finally, thanks to the amazing CSR mods that you will all get to see today. And I, I'm i Soof, I run a lot of Final Fantasy games myself, and I'm looking forward to watching Kegar smash this one. Yeah. Final Fantasy X, one we love a lot. We do. It's a very silly game. Um... It's especially silly because we will have no scenes today, as Nikki has pointed out, and it makes it a lot quicker. Um, this game, when you run it normally, without with cutscenes, is 10 hours at least um, on PS2. So we're cutting it down by about seven hours, um, which is crazy considering how amazing this game is. So no laughing scene today, I'm afraid, but it'll be there in spirit. We're all laughing in our hearts, I think. Um, yes, I'm very excited. And, uh, yeah. Anyone? Want to start? All is good, yeah. Uh, do you think we should start? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to count us down, Kegar? Okay. Um, I'll start the game. So to get through to the game, we have to uh, get through the CSR first. So we're going to use uh, standard uh, stay grid, because that's the one I know. We're going to use original music, because of course. We're going to enable our RNG uh, cutscene remover with RNG fix. That is the mod that is enabled by 1.4.2. And actually, this is the bit where I count down, I believe. So, oh my god, okay. Um, I'm going to start in five, four, three, two, one! And here we go! You got this, let's go! Oh, oh yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get to name Tidus because I knew off the top of my head that I would not remember to change the name. <laughs> I was wondering if you made an incentive for, for, for Tidus' name. No, I was just, I was aware of the fact that it would happen seconds into the game and I did not want to ruin it so quickly. <laughs> That's the thing, Bill. That's a genius move. So we're naming um, Valifor, Ifrit, uh, Ixion, Shiva and Bahamut our pets, who we will collect through the game. Not that you will know any context as to why we are collecting them, if you've never played this game. <laughs> It's like Pokemon. You gotta catch all of them. Yes, you have to train your summoner in order to beat Sin. Again, not that you would know this if you're playing this version of the game. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about what you guys are gonna call anyone. So, people are obsessed with Orb. <laughs> yeah, get the get the donations in and get your favorite pets names. Memorized in this run. <laughs> I think that's what we all did as kids was name the summons after our pets. I know I did. <laughs> so for this bit, you have to guard Rotidus for the first turn and then you can attack. That skips a couple scenes. Um, in CSR, if you don't do it as well, those scenes might play out a bit differently. Um, so even in the first fight, we're doing a little bit of nipping here within the structure of the game. Who needs a CSR, really? I guess it can be noted that like the CSR only removes the cutscenes that are speedrun relevant. Yes. The cutscenes that we would usually not trigger, or like any additional cutscenes if we accidentally run into them, then they will still play absolutely normal. 
such as this. Get up, some ca All right, and it's time for the first boss already. Oh. Let's see Kega do that overdrive perfectly. So, um, since this is on PC, um, which is why it's cutscene river, a neat trick that they use is the keyboard for that. Yeah. Because we, I, I only run PlayStation Two version, and it's it's a lot harder mm -hmm. with control pad. But then. Oh no! Uh, that's a thing. Very it's... fast though. Oh, crit anyway. So, excellent. Yeah, it is a very good little trick. Um, it's uh, sort of is right on PS Two. You have to actually put the code in. So I've got it so hard. I have also always done it on, con on controller, actually. Cause I do! I have never bothered trying to identify which buttons on my keyboard it would be. <laughs> it's gonna be. It looks way easier though if you. Like, oh, it looks smooth, yeah. Yeah. Um, I wish it, you could do it on PS2. <laughs> yeah, it's so much easier. And it was really funny because they did it on stream. Like, I actually. Uh, arranged my keyboard on stream and I had like Elliot and CC like helping me out going okay so you want to put A, S, D and I'm like okay but which buttons oh okay, okay. so it was um it was very adorable and um I don't know if there's footage of that still which is very sad so first boss down Unfortunately, a very friendly boss who only casts Demi, which, mm. as an almost every Final Fantasy, cannot kill you. Almost. I think Final Fantasy IX it can. Yep. If it hits. <laughs> Miss! So, we are manipulating the game a little bit more to avoid Auron uh, coming up with his bright idea about hitting the. Um, the explosion, uh, the tank head. So um, the reason why we do that is because um, Tidus has to come to this realization himself by not sh changing his weapon three times. And Oren has to hit himself in the face. And it just works. Um, it makes this little bit a lot quicker. It's basically like, every move has like a 1.5 or 1.7 or whatever and it adds up to a certain amount to it skipping that little cutscene yeah so you're taking like five steps to equal 10 let's say i have no idea what it actually is but um That's yeah a really good it just skip it. if you land on that it skips quite a, a quite a lengthy cutscene and since that's like a speed tech related thing that you can skip a cutscene with it's preserved in the cutscene remover so like that's another thing that's really nice about Cutscene Remover as a route is it still incentivizes you to learn like the cool speed tech that is in FF10 on other versions, but you don't have to sit through the cutscenes. So you don't lose out on that fun. But yeah, excellently done, Kayla. Thank you. Yeah, so. So, do you want to explain how tracking would work if we were able to do it? Because yes, you're definitely it. more of an expert of it than me. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I've, I'm trying to remember how it all works and I can't remember. I mean, <laughs> I, am well I don't know how it, it's very complicated to track the RNG, but it's, I think some people take to it better than others with the sheer amount of information, but Essentially, you literally need to track everything that's happening in the game and you do that by using some awesome tools that the uh, community have created to make it possible. Uh, but yeah, you're basically like coding. You're saying like, okay, so that damage was 207. You're coding, you're basically filling in the gaps of what the code would be and then it'll tell you what, which is something that's... Uh, Amazing. Yeah, basically we get no encounter armor out of all that work. Yes, so that's pretty good. Hopefully. Nice. Oh, we got two ambushes. Nice. Well, the ambush that matters. The ambush that matters. So for this bit, getting a preemptive on the Sahagans is quicker, and getting an ambush on uh, Geo Sagneo is also quicker. We're going to do our first menu.
So the reason why RNG Fix is so hilarious is because in a tracked run, you know what every fight is going to be, and you know whether or not it's going to be an ambush or a preemptive. And you know how fast that can be down the line. Ambushes in particular are going, are going to be a problem um, later on. <laughs> you'll you'll see. Yeah, yeah that's... So basically... Okay, good. <laughs> you go for it, Nikki. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, so basically what, what uh, attacking does is... you Remember at the beginning we had like these six bugs that we fought? And taking these six damage rolls you get, you can... The, the program we have identifies like the starting RNG. Uh, mm -hmm. On consoles, there are like millions of starting seats for RNG. On PC, there are only 256. So, yes. actually, uh, not that many. Yeah, and um, we can make 64. Ooh, crit! But we can track all but, 256 and we can manip 64 of them. Uh, why? Yeah. Doing? Like, some are just worse than others, obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, RNG fix makes it like? that basically the starting seat, I believe, gets re-rolled every time RNG gets rolled, so yeah. we so, are unable to track it. Yeah, uh, that is correct. And basically, if you want to uh, enable, if you want to track RNG in order to get no encounter armor, the best way, the way to do that is to track every steal, failure or not, and every death that includes enemies, that includes you. Another crit, that's delightful. Yeah, I very want, nice. Yeah, I want um, six grenades for the next boss fight. And Riku's giving me nothing. That's the thing, without knowing what your RNG is, <laughs> which is what you're used to on other this categories, you honestly, <laughs> you just have to deal with it. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you have to play the game fast. As, as you know, simple as that sounds, that's what this brings it down to, and that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Also, a lot of not fun when it's. Let's being make harsh. sure you are trying for the second <laughs> steal all the time, which is still a fifty percent, right? Yeah, fifty percent every time. Like and that five was four, times in a row. Four times, unbelievable. So, um, right uh, for this bit, we're gonna get. Uh, Potentially an encounter with a Parana. I'll let you guys explain why the Parana are really important to me. They're not that important, why, guys. No. Why are they important? I'm trying to... <laughs> They're not! I'm being sarcastic! I just want goodies okay. out. Oh! Oh! Oh, I nearly didn't get them. Also, the Piranha encounter really <laughs> often likes to pretend to not appear, and then it still appears. Sometimes it does. you can skip it. But often you get it like in this case, where you're like, I don't know, it feels like really close to the end of the screen. I was but... practicing last night and I didn't get it at all. I was like, what? That's like a one in I 50 skipped chance. It once in my runs. It's so nice when you don't get it though, but then I feel like it's a it's indicated to a really hard run. <laughs> On PlayStation 2, when you get a seed with that, you're like, oh no, here we go. Out of the 4.3 million seeds, this one's the worst. <laughs> This one's the one. Yeah. It's, it's gonna mess me it's up. It's like you save time. Yeah. But also you have like a grenade one or two grenade steals less. Which yeah. means depending yeah. on how you like had grenade lag. Um, so we need six grenades for this next boss, which is yeah. why we are stealing right now all the time. Yes. Ambushed! Wow! So good, good game. So good. Also this, this I is a... go for it. <laughs> this is going to be one of those seeds where it's early, it's rough, but it's a late show, you know? It's Don't worry about it. That's sweet. <laughs> I'm going to have to heal them both, but yeah. Okay. Don't forget, we just blame Great Foxes if anything happens. I believe he is responsible yeah. for that. He's in the chat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that doesn't everyone. stop anything. That doesn't stop anything. You can't, you can't control it from there. You know what we can control, though? The name of Valfor, which is still open as an incentive right now, we have five options for that, including Phoenix, Burb, Chef, Bahamut, and currently <laughs> leaving leading is Chicken. Chicken? You guys are weird, I love that. 
And if you have one moment, I'd love to read a quick donation. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I've got a few seconds. Um, we have a $5 donation from Wind Bliss, who says, It's the last two days. The entertainment is amazing. I couldn't provide much, but I understand that even a little bit matters. This is secretly a donation to have a Valk's friend take the name of the one and only Bahamut. Good luck, and make sure you ha, 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 at the awful luck for best times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that donation. And remember, everyone, you can be putting all of your donations towards the bids for the names of the summons we are collecting for this run. Awesome. I didn't heal. Oh, no. I'm going to have to give Riku a potion, because if I don't, she'll die. That's that's the thing with this speedrun, I think just there's a lot of room for things to go not quite so to plan, Theme. but as as long as you're there's plenty of potions and things to run. If you're scared about HP it's always good. Just heal. Yeah, just always heal. heal. Yeah. One one experience who doesn't <laughs> be make running this game. Nice. <laughs> is, <laughs> Insane. That never happens! Oh yeah, also That's do we do Kega thing. skip? Yeah, we... Ah, oh, I missed it. So I made... I got a skip. I've made a skip. It is known now. I did it three times. And we can skip this little bit here. But it is not valid. Don't do it. Because it's not... <laughs> um, you can't do it in the normal game. You can only do it in CSR. So all the skips that we do in this oh. game are completely valid. Apart yeah, from mine. It's... Right? I was talking to Chris about it and he was just like, ha 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 no. <laughs> it's complicated to decide, uh... Yeah, yeah. Those things. Yeah, I thought it makes sense. It does. Yeah, it does, it does. It's better to stick to the rule than to start, like, changing oh. it. Oh, hey, it's this way! <laughs> yeah. My skip not being valid is completely in my... Have you like as a runner? It's it's nice to learn. What I love about speedrunning for such a long time is like learning lots of weird little things that the games do, yeah. even though they're completely useless. Yeah, they just do them to you, and that's kind that's kind of one of those things that this game does. <laughs> it has a lot of useless stuff. Yeah, no, that's not true. It's I'm very sure you, actually. I'm very sure good. you have many like stories about that with Ever Ten, weird things. Yeah. Ambushes, so many ambushes. Um, so, uh, more piranha, by the way, which are so important. I'm so sorry. This bit um, is a bit where many runners will reset because of the amount of encounters they get here, and there is a dependency on what these encounters are. This one isn't bad. This one's not too bad, so we'll take it. usually get two or three encounters, very rarely one. I've never had one. It, it is really, nice. really rare. Uh, but yeah, also one of these examples, even though just on small scale, you would believe like this is turn-based and everything is scripted <laughs> and everything is easy and nothing can go wrong. You're a liar. The game teaches you that even though things <laughs> should be consistent, they often are just not. No, they're not. Especially encounters. Uh, and especially with RNG fix. Okay. That's not late, so that's okay. Oh, okay, do this. So RNG fix means that I can't track RNG. And as we explained, RNG tracking is very hard and never to ever do it. I'm kidding. Based Basically, this is a mod for, for PC, like, because it's the only one where it's gonna work. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, it's essentially the base game is seeded. So when you press new game, it decides a seed. And I don't think anyone really has a good grasp on how to, to control that on PlayStation 2. But no. on PC, we did there was less seeds, so it's a lot easier to control. And so RNG Fix is just a way of allowing PC runners with cutscene remover mod to do a category that 
is closer to what the PlayStation 2 is like, since PC it is quite a bit more optimized. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's just essentially another category that turns PC into a bit more of a closer style to what PlayStation yeah. 2 feels like to run, but without the cutscenes, which is a huge plus for many people, mm -hmm. as you can understand. It's also very popular within the community because tracking is hard. And in this it is, scenario, yeah. it's really hard, especially with CSR. Tracking with CSR is horrible. I learned how to do this run doing that. Do not do that. This is a public service announcement. Do not really? le learn this run and learn to track at the same time. Learn the run, it, it, then learn to track. That's the thing. It's a really um, hard task to track RNG and it means everything. Mm -hmm. uh, while also running a game that's non-stop because without the cutscenes it is quite non-stop it's like mm -hmm. four hours as you can yeah. see Kegar's just been non-stop running through like the various areas and so it's hard to track RNG and I think this uh, category in particular is more enjoyable in general for people like me who do enjoy a bit of RNG in their run for some bizarre reason and also, like, it's great to separate those two tasks, you know, you can really concentrate on one side of it instead of trying to do two impossible things, right? So, <laughs> yeah. it's really fun. It is. Highly recommend it for anybody interested in FF10 speedrunning. Everyone should run Final Fantasy X, especially with the CSR. You'll all be better than me and you'll fall in love with the game again. I'm serious, like, I've played this game since I was 11 years old, go for Christmas, 20, uh, 2001, and um, playing it this way uh, changed the way I perceive the game and I look at it because you can, you're playing it, like, when you play it casually, you are doing it in a completely different way. This is optimized. This is the most optimized version of this game you can ever play. And it has been brought together by an entire community of people who um, love this game too. And it's it's a wonderful community. So I really highly recommend it. We should probably close donations for Valifor's name. Oh yeah, Valifor's right? yeah. name is coming up in about a minute. Oh no, I have to name an Aeon. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. Hey, over here. Okay, here it comes. All righty, let me check and see what the leader on that is. Making sure to confirm it, but right now, it looks like it is chicken, capital C, the rest spelled like the bird. I actually love this. Yeah, I'm glad chicken uh, won. Yeah, me too. And um, that is actually good. thanks to a $75 donation from Ian, who says if Val <laughs> Valefor is named chicken, I want to see some fuka. In Where's chat. Um, so actually, chat, what if um, we started a $5 book chain um, and make sure to mark those either for the extreme difficulty for uh, super hard difficulty for DDR or towards your favorite name um, for Ifrit, who will be our next summon we collect. Hey, why don't you Not too shabby. Might make a good. A fly. Short tutorial time. Since it is in battle, it is not a cut screen. We'll skip. Ugh. So sad. Oh my god, I got the level already because of that grenade. Uh, I will sort that out in a sec. You also crit like a piranha and fought more piranhas than usual, I feel I, like. Yeah, so. I did. I got it before this fight. Although you only get two AP for this fight. So. Uh, if you can't beat them down, Matt, let's have our magic. 
So we don't use magic in this room. <laughs> Magic? Wait, wrong game. I get fire and ice, lightning and water. Uh, we use magic very rarely. Um, Lulu gets a little bit of time to shine in Kilika Woods, and then after that, she is a level sponge. You'll see. She's very important so, to us. There were former out uh, roots that used black magic a bit more, but. Uh. NSG still uses uh, Lulu, I believe. NSG uses Lulu's Overdrive. Yeah. Um, older roots used Sandaga, Wendigo, for example, or Wataka towards the end. It's quite cute. So, the good news about this fight is I can't lose. But we're gonna count. So, if I didn't get that level there, we would have to count. Hits and misses. So every time Kamari hits me, it's not good. We would have to get two misses for this to basically mean I don't have to use a potion at the end of this fight, saving me a bit of time. Um, we also have crits, because if I get a crit, then I don't have to use a potion either. The good news is, I'm going to kill him now. Oh, the sword is out, guys! He's waving the sword everywhere! Disgusting boy! That's a CSR bug. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's one of my favorite bugs. I love that I'm glad bug. that one at least hasn't disappeared after we can't run it, run in or over water anymore. Yeah. A flyer! That's your true. Why don't we let our summer... Your first real show us what you're oh. right here. Time for chicken. Uh, for me, cash it was definitely the most broken mechanic that I always uh, always use. Oh yeah. Summons are just fairly powerful. Even though we skip the dog. Cool. You skip the dog. I did skip the dog, it's okay. <laughs> it's part of the new route. Oh is it? I yeah. was actually yeah. like Wow, so much has changed. And that's another thing with 510. It's always changing. We've got a new yeah. skip. So this skip that I'm going to do, and I should hope to get it first try, um, it's going to be um, a one that Nikki and Soph haven't done. Um, but this also means that the first part of the game is going to be really different for them as well. <laughs> I mean, I've, seen, I've watched runs, but yeah, so if you go back to be said, you like talk to the shop, uh, uh, go to the shop, and she will tell you that the dog has found something, and then the dog gives you another overdrive for Valifor, which is Energy Blast, which is a lot stronger than Energy Ray. Yes. And that. Um, which was kind of important for a later boss fight. And which we don't even have to on do. the others before that was. It was nice. It was nice, to be fair. Um, so Kielika is a bit slower, but we do save time in a lot of other places as well, because we don't need energy blast at this point. Oh, I made a mistake. This is what happens when I marathon. One. No problem. Uh, so I actually missed. Please, Final Fantasy X runners, do not get upset with me. So I expect yeah, every runner to have done that mistake before. Yeah, this happens to everybody. It like even when you've ran it for ages. <laughs> you it's basically a menu you swap out Wacker and it just prevents that little introductory mechanical explanation thing at the beginning. And you can run away super fast yeah. without having to do dark tech. Right. So I can do it, let's do it now. First mistake, guys. Not bad one. That's okay. Don't That's, judge me! There's a lot of things going on in these Final Fantasy speedruns and it it's a it takes a long time. So who here has gotten who else he has gotten the uh bonus the random birds. encounter on the screen? before. Which one? Uh, on that screen, you can get another encounter. 
Yes, I have. I've gotten two birds there before. That was actually very satisfying. I... Yeah, yeah. yeah, do you know what I got there? What did you get? Two the same encounter, Flan, Wolf, Bird, Ambush, Wolf attacks <gasps> Lulu and silences her. That's hilarious. So we're going to pick up a little bit extra money from this guy. Because money is important. Also, it might be looking around because my cat has decided to join me. Oh no, she's gone. She's gone. Okay, dying. <laughs> Oh, who's my favorite character uh, in Final Fantasy X? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say... Shalinda. Shalinda. <laughs> oh, oh, there is a meme within Final Fantasy X uh, that Shalinda is the best girl. Um, but I'm gonna go completely laugh ball and just say Sid. I love Sid! He has all the best lines! He has... All of my favorite lines of all time. Um, beans! There's nothing to do but destroy the ship and all go down together. That bit kills me every time. And I don't get to see it in this version of the game. Sacrifices have to be made. Mm -hmm. For the sake of the game. And speed. In the name of the RNG, and of the sun, and of the holy... And oh. you take the right target with the energy ray, which is good. People have definitely never hit the wrong targets here. <laughs> I've never done that in my life. It's all really Okay, so this is a, a little bit of a slower bit. So originally, um, you would... Um, Cause enough damage with Lancet and Thunder and then use Energy Blast. But now we are going to build, uh, we use Energy Ray and we build Battle for Chickens um, Overdrive. So originally you would build the Overdrive in uh, Killer Cup Woods, but we don't have to do that anymore because we just do it here. Um, the other night I watched Chris do this, so Chris is our current world record uh, holder for uh, CSR Tracked. And um, I saw him do this run the other night and he um, got Balfour killed. And um, he that, that can happen, that is an RNG fix situation. <laughs> Thankfully that's not going to happen today. One of these really, really low chance things that can happen, and happen what feels like way too often. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that'll never happen. It's gonna happen. At some point in your life, you're gonna get some weird stuff on here. You can always talk to Chris about uh, every on under damage. Oh god, yeah! Ever is absolutely one of my favorite fights. I love Ever. Not as, like, an enemy, but, like, um, just as a fight, it's it's awesome. And really interesting as well. You know what else is interesting as well? Yep. Potentially, we could name Ifrit Cinderpup. But right now, um, if you want that to be the case, chat, you're going to have to break the tie between naming Ifrit um, Ixion or Orb. So if Orb. you want the do, if you want Ifrit to be named Cinder Pup instead, put in your donations and mark it towards the bid war for that name. Additionally, um, if you are on Twitter, check out Games Done Quick's Twitter because we currently have an active debate. Is the blonde haired fellow that we begin this game as, is his name pronounced Titus or Titus? Please let hey. us know. We'll be tracking <laughs> oh, no. as we go. Uh, Tale is all this time. Hey, see, I can't do that. Oh, my God. 
so that fight is very similar to how we would do it in the normal run. Uh, essentially, we use cheer twice, and we just whack it a few times, and then use Tidus's old drive, which we get built up by Kimari. Um, it's it's pretty quick, uh, and we got ice brand. That's sexy. Um, so. Um, that scene there is the only FMV you have to skip. Oh wow, they're all going crazy. Um, Titus, sorry. That's me. What about you guys? Titus. <gasps> <laughs> so ice Look at what it's doing to us. <laughs> so the ice Go brand that Kagar got earlier from that fight is actually random. It's one of those random things that we're going to get in this category. And we got a good outcome. So that means we'll do extra damage for all the encounters in uh, Kilika Woods, basically. So that's pretty nifty. Another tutorial incoming. Oh, no. Titus in German and Japanese. They probably would... I mean, it's usually would say Titus in English. But, it's a you know. but when Alonso uses it. What's that, huh? Hey! Hey. Lights up. Okay, so then we use fire. And then we swap you out for Waka. Blow up. And then do that. And now. Oh. We have a uh, our team that we're going to use for the rest of this bit. And a variable mog. Gross. Alright, another menu. So, we're going to learn the most important ability in the entire game. Flee. So, do you want to tell us about the spheres that we have to collect now? Um, so... This is a like an ongoing thing that you'll be doing as resource management as part of this run, no matter which category you run, really. I think with other categories, you can have more control over it because you know what's coming, but still you need those resources and those will be random depending on the run. Um, but basically you want, do you remember the numbers of it, Nikki? But it's like, it's a lot of power spheres and I know uh, that doesn't help. Yeah, Kega gave me the notes in which it's written. So we need 37 power spheres, of which we most yeah. get after Blitzball against a lot of Sahagans. That will go so easy on you next um, yeah. 18 speed spheres, which... Yeah. I remember a time when it was 16, but apparently it's 18 nowadays. But yeah, it's 18 I, I with the new things there. Um, and ever since the new skip, we even need three mana spheres. Three mm -hmm. additional. Oh, mm -hmm. Kiki. Which is also... <laughs> the, easy, and, huh? Yeah, the fact that we'll grind less later means also that we'll grind more here, which is why... you If you saw earlier runs, Anyone you might not have seen Lulu being used, or mm -hmm. yellow elementals being killed. But, as, yeah, we have less places to grind, but still need our spears. Basically, more enemies here get killed. Also, yellow elements are good for, ma for mana spears. You could see, that just got us one. I just believe you would have gotten that anyways. It's okay. Yeah. 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 Ah! <laughs> okay, so the good news is I don't really need much more. I, I think I'll run away from everything on the way out. <laughs> I mean, it's a marathon. You can kill everything. It's not a Ragora, I think. Yeah, so like, the you just get like, is it four enemy types? Or yes. different monsters, I think. Here, yeah. But there's, it's possible that you can get a single Regora, which is the plant one, or two of them, and the two one is really bad. Really great. <laughs> but, ev but even one is bad, so ideally uh. you want to run from those, but sometimes you have to do it. You just don't have, unless you want to spend like time running away from those and getting another one, you need to leave here with a set amount of AP and a set amount of resources realistically. So... It's quite a tough, a tough section to get through, and it seems to be going pretty good, pretty tasty encounters. Yeah, yeah especially we didn't get with the ice 
<laughs> what we didn't discuss is why the ice brand is so good is the ice brand deals extra damage which means yeah. that we get more overkills and, and overkills speech. double the amount of ap and drops you get mm -hmm. from an enemy so yeah, every so. every overkill means two spheres instead of one especially which is really nice yes especially for the space spheres so uh power spheres I don't think I've had issues with collecting power spheres for a very long time. Speed spheres, however, not cool. So yeah. We, yeah. Go for it. Um, so, because power spheres, there's a lot of them, but they're not so bad to collect because a lot of them can be like overkilled. So, I think most of the power spheres are gathered when we do Sahagans, which is a big. There's tons of Sahagans that you have to kill, I think 21 or something. Yeah. And if you over if you kill all those with overkill, then you've already got your power spheres sorted. But speed spheres are a lot trickier, and oftentimes it will mean using grenades or something like that, like expanding some kind of resource to to get them because they're a lot rarer than power spheres. Yeah. So it can be real tricky getting your speed spheres correct by the end of the run. It's very likely that you'll be one shot and have to hope. It's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ever been in that situation in my life. So this entire run is optimized within an inch of its life, not even an inch, a millimeter of its life. The community has done an incredible job. However, um, uh, if you don't follow the instructions exactly, you will die in Last Boss. It's right. horrific. And while we are in Kilika Temple, how is the situation with it for Ifrit's name going? Cinder Pup, Cinder Pup. Is chat gonna get us on the way? I've got about two minutes. Uh, uh, currently, Cinder Pup has pulled into the lead, um, but Orb and Ixion are both very, very close. So, chat, you have your last minute donations. Get them in as quick as you can because we will be closing it very shortly. I will slow this train down for Cinder Pup. No, I won't. But Cinderpup is currently leading. Yeah, if you want Cinderpup, you would have to hurry. Oh, I have to go faster. Okay. <laughs> More for Cinderpup. Go fast for Cinderpup. Cinderpup deserves that. Uh, okay. So, uh, if anyone has ever played Final Fantasy X, they will know what this is. It is a cloister of trials. It's really fun, guys. It's not, it's boring and tedious, but we do them because we love the game. The first one's up nine. Is the it tedious sure. or is it tedious? Hey. No, I don't mind um, Besedo or Kalika. These ones are okay. And I don't mind Makalania either. I will be complaining all the way through Jose. Because it's so long. And Bevel is horrific. Everyone it hates Bevel. It's funny though, because I remember when I was young, I lent my copy of FF10 to my friend and she didn't have a memory card. And I remember her comp her PS2 was left on for ages here at, oh. at the trials. And I was oh. like... Just sitting in the trials. <laughs> More realistic, really, story-wise. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Apparently this takes... like a reoccurring scene. Everyone knows someone who didn't have a memory card and he kept their consoles <laughs> on for ages. There we go. The electric bill. We have time. All right. I am refreshing. I believe. I believe. How are we? All right. I do not see anything on my board. It is closed, so it will be Cinder Pup um, without the E because there's too many characters otherwise. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's go. Good chat, good chat. Ah, so cute. I love that. Awesome. And chat, our next companion, our next summon we're looking for is Ixion, I believe. So 
start putting your bids in there and remember all of these bids wars are going towards unlocking our bonus game for this evening so the good news is uh it won't be as quick a turnaround as um those two so we've got time we've got a good amount of time at this point yeah got time to contemplate your choices chat yes and we also have something else that's very important in between it's everyone's favorite bit what is it it's best of all. Sphere break. Pee break. <laughs> sphere break. Sphere break. I love sphere break. Uh, no, I don't. I'm just killing these guys on the way because it's uh, it's good for spheres. This is the last one. It's it's good to play it safe and and get extra things here anyway, especially yes. in a marathon. Um, oh, yes. Because you don't really, it's not like it's a waste getting certain things early, It's, but it's no, slower. No. It's a bit slower to get them early. But if it's I get to serve one hour, it's so unhappy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'll be right back. Which I will do. Stike. Having an extra speed, speed sphere just in case we mess something up. Was exactly, exactly. It's, it's never too bad. Also, yeah, as mentioned earlier, there are not as many back like backup encounters for speed spheres as for the cross spheres. Also, this is really early and I love it. I know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, normally on the route I would be used to, we don't do this menu up until after Blitzball. Mm -hmm. So it's I don't know if that's the new route thing or whether that's just... But it I is. assume it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you yeah. want to do it before, I believe, but... A Blitzrider, ideally? Yeah, because you need that threat strength for the Sahagans. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But, yeah, basically right before Blitzball. Uh, here's a bit oh, of... Yeah, it is. I disappoint everyone. So, I... chat? <laughs> yeah, do it. Shot doesn't exist. Don't worry. You're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it, kid. You can't do it, kid. I'm not doing it, Dad. You can't make me. Don't make me. I don't know why that mini game is the only Final Fantasy mini game that I ever really struggled with as a kid. Like <laughs> no, it just didn't too. connect what you were supposed to do. Same. <laughs> and I think it explains so it. It oh, explains it, it very clearly, and I didn't get it either. <laughs> It's just click X where the, in the directional button where the voice is. That's it. If anyone's wondering, that's all it is. Oh, you can do what I also, did. Also, be careful. Is... No oh. tutorial. Oh, it. yeah. So if you accidentally select any of those that isn't leave, uh, you get like locked into a tutorial about it and you have to participate. So it's really oh, slow. You so can't horrible. leave or anything. Especially in CSR, it happens so quickly, and then you I accidentally know. mesh. Yeah. I have turbo on, and then it's like, yeah. Left turbo well. on. Oh, no. Um, it's almost time for Blitzball. So when I do this game in my own chat, we have a little bet. So I'll put this to chat as well. Um, Blitz off. So when the Blitzball goes in the air, you have options. Uh, does Grav, Luca goes, who get it get the ball the most or does letty my team get the ball the most there are three blitz spot blitz offs in the game that count because we get the first half and then we get the second half and then waka comes on and we get the third one so who thinks um who thinks we're gonna get a letty day I hope so. I hope so. No! 30! No. Are you serious? Oh. We need to sell a potion or something. You don't have enough weapons to sell for 30 kills. Oh. You only have two 12s. That's so grim. Well, I mean, I don't know what 30 gil is, but I don't know. If uh. Actually. Okay. Okay. Here's, the, here's the thing, like, you've got so little resources there, if you are short on gil, it's kind of, you're like, oh god, what do I do? Because you don't want to part with anything there. Even so your map, you, you might be seeing that map and going, why don't you sell that? Well, we need that for later. We need so that map. <laughs> so, um, there is a way around that. 
Um, it because it, it was just so little. I should have sold the ice brand. Ah. Oh. Um, there is a, a treasure chest behind a walker, which is um, 600 gil. Um, but it does take more time than what I just did, so I recommend not doing what I just did. Go and get the 600 gil. I didn't forget the chest. I did that on purpose. I mean, that's the thing. It's so close to you, to me meeting the goal of what you needed that yeah going exactly. getting 600 it's like overkill you don't need that <laughs> it's nothing <laughs> so it's tricky it's tricky but and that's that's the thing with ff10 it's all random mm -hmm. so you just got to adapt to it on the fly and see how it goes so let's bless haste here for a moment oh yes uh nikki's enjoying this i feel He's like, look how fast this is going. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Falls, I love you. I called you out on the stream. I'm so sorry. It's because I appreciate everything you do for me. <laughs> oh, oh, spreading lies now. That's great. <laughs> it's fine. Right, yeah, the, the old bat have captured Yuna and we need to rescue her. I'm really sure, like... Why? But, yeah. B basically, we got more stuff to fight, and Walker has to look like a great football player, and they didn't want us to play more than one game, I guess. Yeah. I think that's the best. So the we needed Albert. Reese to not participate in this one. The Albert are the good guys. <laughs> no, so... <laughs> the story... At this point, the Albert are kidnapping Yuna because they kind of want to keep us safe yeah. and everything but we don't know why I, th I think she s says that at this point right or is that yeah. like did i spoil no i think she comes out How and she's like i'm related to them yeah so yes that's she does yeah. and um it's it's a very funny scene um because um lulu knows that yuna is related to the albed and um, if you're not aware, Waka is a bit of a bigot and does not like um, does not like the Abed. Um, so Lulu says explicitly to Titus, "Do not tell Waka about Yuna's heritage." And then he's like, "Oh my god, I gotta tell Waka!" And then yeah. Lulu says, "No, no, I told you not to tell Waka." And he's like, "No, no, we're talking about the Blitzball." <laughs> That's really the thing. In a lot of the cutscenes, Titus just is very cute. It's not very self aware. No. Sometimes. <laughs> He's a good boy. He fits well with Walker. Yeah, he does. Walker doesn't think very much either. And this this boss right now is a big Albed like weapon, isn't it? It is. The yeah, throw in blitz balls. Blitz balls for some reason. Reason. Yeah. <laughs> On they're, they're thrifty. They, no. they Trying to fight it without things. the crane sounds horrifying. <laughs> okay, so because there's no sound in this, you hear everything. So this is a CSR bug, and um, it's hilarious. Um, I love it. <laughs> this bit here. What? <laughs> That's in there, but you can't hear it because the music normally. It's wonderful. It's almost as good as the um, CSL bug that was in Final Fantasy um, 9. Lightning Steel! Guys, we did it! Oh, nice. So Lightning Steel is another drop that's random. They they all are. I feel like I'm repeating myself, sorry. Um, okay. But Lightning Steel, again, benefits a, a later portion of the game that I mean, it benefits a lot of things, but mainly right now it's going to benefit Sahagans, so we should be able to guarantee like overkills on all of them, which means power spheres are not a concern at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we don't what have to worry about power spheres. What we haven't mentioned, though, is that you might have seen that Kega was killing the boss with Titus. The reason why you want to get the final hit in with Titus is that the chance for the weapon drop to be a weapon for Titus increases because he was the one who got the last hit. Like, 
We could also get the last hit with Lulu if we wanted to, but the, the Thunder attacking Moogle is not really helpful for our causes. It's very funny though. Okay, so... I, I, I hope Lulu gets the weapon we need. The last one, yes. Oh my yes. god, yes. Yeah, um, I really hope so too. Because it's always funny and it's always very, very funny and satisfying as well. Okay, uh, so anyone who has ever um, played Blitzball professionally will know there's a way to get around it. And it's called hiding behind your keeper, but it is, yep. is <laughs> terrible. Right. So we use Jasu because he's the, he's the fastest swimmer on the pitch. I was asking and you if you're going to try to score in the first half, but if we are going to Jasu train, which I'm also like all that. down for, <laughs> I don't that's want not an option. Uh, oh god, yeah, we're, oh, I didn't swear, I didn't swear. They're making me do it. Right, so the idea is the less the other team get involved with Jassy, the better. He's the fastest swimmer on the pitch. So right now, this is called a Jassy train. And for five minutes, Jassy is going to swim for his life and his dinner, or else he doesn't get fed, and um, never be caught. And uh, we'll never talk of this again. Yeah, as you were maybe able to see back when Abbas um, tried to tackle us a few times, the timer actually stopped. So whenever an action happens and yes. the two parties interact with one another, the timer stops. Obviously, we want to go fast, so we want the timer to stop as few as possible. And yeah. which is why, yeah, we're just running away. Fortunately, Jess is fast enough. If you're it's playing casually, one. Brother is also really good Brother's character the best. to do this with. with yes. it. Uh, Hire him. He's cheap too. Yeah. There we go. I've got the whole Jassu train. Choo choo. I'm All right. a lever for Jassu train. It never fails. So high. Up. Um, if there's any donations you guys want to read out, now is a very good time. Lovely, because we have a couple coming in right now. Sorry. Um, no. We have a $10 donation from Cypher66 that says Pika Pikachu, which is one of the possible names for Ixion. Um, it is currently in sec second place with $65, trailing by 10 to Rarity. And that will be the next summon that we are able to name chat. So make sure you get your donations in there. We also have a $25 donation from Tozzle that says, Ooh. You're telling me there is a debate between Tita and Tita? It's definitely Tita. <laughs> donation goes to the DDR Mario Mix Super Hard Difficulty Super Showcase. Let's -a go! Let's and a reminder, chat as well, if you're liking the names on that bid war, you can also put your donations towards upgrading the difficulty for that DDR showcase coming up after this run. But we still got a bit more time here to spend with Kagar. He's cheating. He did that. Okay, so... Graf got the ball, but that's okay. It's looking good. It's looking, it's looking okay, yeah. I just need to get Abus out of the way. Right, so, um, yeah, that's okay. Oh, they're doing the horrible formation. Let's do the horrible formation. No, I don't want them to do the horrible formation. Grav is on my butt. Grav is on my butt. This is not a jet and this is not a drill. Okay, so I'm gonna do something dumb. You know, besides the obvious. 
So uh, this half finishes for a little interval in about a minute. So what I'm doing right now is making sure that these guys don't get the ball for the entirety of it and hoping that I can just use Waka in the next half. Waka strats it is. Wow, I can't believe I've had to do Jasu turn twice. That is so silly. So Waka's gonna come in and ruin the day. I'm kidding, I like Waka. Okay. Right, and now Letty, please. Letty? Surely it's no! So we switch the formations around so that we have a better chance of basically getting the ball off Rav. He's going to dribble. So that means that he's going to swim along a little bit more. And by then, my entire team should be all up in him. But there's just two and he's going to shoot again. Oh, he's going to pass. Oh, he's going to pass. To Bixen, who is not a nice man. Oh, he's passing too! That's very smart. Very clever boy. The okay. AI can be really interesting for Blitzball and... Interesting is a word That's for one of those moments, but the problem is they're all in that area and you Norms. can't... It's okay. really hard to slip out of a, when they build a defense around you. But I think we're out of it. Yeah, we are. Very nice. Very nice. Smooth like butter. Okay, so we just need to get Waka to the bottom of the pitch now. Swim faster, Waka! Swim like your life depends on it! Okay, very well, do. Uh, Usually you have to wait, but since we already took a while to get the ball, <laughs> it fit perfectly to just immediately This is go not a it. good Blitzball match, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> this is a very bad showcase. Um, normally it's way more chill. This one just scores and everything is good. Oh, thank God. Very nice. Perfect. <laughs> Blitzball okay. is extremely tricky and it is the single most frustrating thing as an FF10 runner. I think yes. everybody arrives at that point with it where they're like... But that was excellent. And it was thank not you. an easy game to win either. No, it was not. So the, the moral thank of the you. story is just you know, pra Jussie practice Shane. and and don't stress because it's blitz balls like that. So one hour <laughs> blitz ball is very good for a beginner, I have to say. Not for me, but for a beginner. If you can get sub one hour, it's really good. You gonna cheer? I'm gonna what? Cheer. Oh yes, I'm gonna cheer. Um, so I'm gonna cheer twice. So the good thing is that because I won Blitzball, I don't have to do Blitzball strats. So Final Fantasy X is split into two strats at this point. Blitz win, Blitz loss. Blitz loss is slower by a small amount, um, but Blitz... Oh, thank you so much for that. Um, Blitz win is the route that you kind of want to do because it's the smoothest and the least likely to mess you up. Um, that, that's the thing. Even if you even if you fail Blitzball, which is why I did say like don't stress about Blitzball anybody because yeah. it really only saves a couple of minutes, really. Yeah. yeah. And like there is yeah. a comp it's not a much more different route even to it's just a bit of adjustment with mm -hmm. a lot a, bl a blitz loss route to go and get that extra strength sphere. Uh, yes. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah. It's a uh, it's a friend sphere. Oh, a fr yeah. So and it changes menus and things, so it becomes like a. It feels like it's a lot of things, but it's really not. It's just. Yes. Um, so I think it's worth pointing out as well, just for the sake of uh, clarifying that as well, because Soph is very right. You can finish a game of Final Fantasy X, CSR, or any run that you like with Blitz Loss. You can you can finish. Um, and if Grey Fox is in the chat, just just follow the instructions exactly. 
Don't deviate. The instructions That's the thing. are pink. If you, it's, it's especially important to to remind anyone who's interested in learning this run that Blitzball is really hard and that you shouldn't worry about it because it is as simple as just reading notes, regardless of which route you have to follow. Whether you win Blitzball or not, you're still just following notes. And then after years and years, you might be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to save those two minutes? But immediately, they, it doesn't matter. You're just following notes and it's a, it really doesn't change much. No, it it's literally just a couple of bosses that's different. It's the setup for it that's convoluted and Annoying. a lot to explain in the marathon, to be honest. 32! I'm good. Let me see. Yeah, I'm good. Um, to those who know, I have 32 power spheres. I, 34! I don't have to count anymore. <laughs> that actually takes a lot of pressure off me. Yeah. Sorry, so. It's, it's always good to have tons and tons of uh, any resource that you need as a backup, really, for this run anyway. So going out your way to get to get extra on a marathon. It's a good idea. In yeah, like I think we're doing good for spheres. Yes. And we can get some more. It's looking good. I, I do think like right now this is like ideal because I got so many overkills because of the ice brands. Um, yeah. So I should be fine for the rest of the game, but you know, you, you can never tell with this game sometimes. But honestly, at this point, spheres wise, I'm okay. Would you actually fight any random encounters at this point? No, not anymore. Only backup spheres. Yeah. It's fine. nice that it's nice to like have every. So I think most runners running this will have like some way of tracking their resources. And it's nice to leave this point knowing you're pretty set for the rest of the run anyway. So. And then also boss fights count towards the rest of what you've got to get and things. Don't yeah. forget about boss fights being mandatory drops, so. Katana! Oh, go for it. Oh, I was going to slide in real quick and say we have a $10 donation from Ham Fruitcake. Hi, baby! That says, I can't believe my identical twin sister is speedrunning one of our favorite games from childhood for an amazing cause. You got this, sis, and all those hours of playing Blitzball together worked out. Yes, they Aww. did. I mean, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful speedrunning story, isn't it? Yeah. I have a story. I actually told this to the uh, the Sam people at the start of it. Um, so Hammy and I got, so we are identical twins and I love her and we do look alike. So if you find her on Twitch, um, she looks like me. Um, and we got Final Fantasy X on uh, Christmas 2001 and um, we were so excited. We were like super hype because we played Final Fantasy VII and, and eight and nine. It was one of our favorite games at that point. Laughing scene, everyone laugh. And um, we turned it on for the first time and the credits were rolling and you had that beautiful like replication of a scene where you um, get to see the first scene basically in the credits and then you press new game. And then we had to watch it all again. <laughs> and my parents, our parents were literally sitting there going, what the hell is this? It's also no way. Um, they were quite annoyed, what? but we were very happy. Told ya. <laughs> well done for the last guys. Right. I hope you're all Do laughing at my story. <laughs> Do we actually still look for bombs here, or is no. this like a perfect time for our host to take over? It is a very good time for the host to take over. We're going to be running away from every fight, and Don't if break any bones, old I man. get any ambushes, hmm. you will hear me start Don't yelling. Right but back. apart from that, go for it. That sounds fantastic. Um, I actually, real quick, I guess I have a $10 donation from Mom6226 that says $10 for Final Fantasy X. And chat, 
here's a fun challenge for you. Decide whether you want to contribute, or maybe you put $5 to your favorite upcoming bid, and $5 towards the Super Mario, or the Mario Mix DDR Showcase, and let's start a $10 train at 1 hour, 10 minutes, and 10 seconds into this run for Final Fantasy X. Ooh, excitement. That won't go so easy on you next time. Um, we also have a $5 donation from Bradley Saber 22 and said, I always thought it was Tide Us in reference to tides of the ocean, since he is so closely associated with water. It was only a few years ago I found out it's actually pronounced Meg Ryan. <laughs> nice. And Got chat, him. if you're still wondering, is it Titus or is it Titus, let us know at on Twitter. We have an active poll going on uh, for at Games Done Quick. Let us know your opinion. Hey, I'm a guardian now, so watch out. Live and let live. This bit's quite boring. Um, <laughs> so we could just talk about the fact that there is a cutscene skit if we wouldn't play with that cutscene remover, but... So many scenes, yeah. Yeah, and so on this high road, one of the most notable... There's a couple of not notable things I'd say, but like, first of all, is that be careful that you don't die because an ambush here, the, you have no protection against it and they hit hard. <laughs> so yes, they do. keep topped up like Kegar is. But also if you run in on PlayStation 2 or just any, you know, anyone without the cutscene remover mod, um, there's a high road, there's, this, there's a cutscene that occurs where they're on chocobos, like halfway in between leaving this area, I think it is, right? Uh, I think we just first area. We're just we're just approaching it now. I think is, yeah. Wait, now I'm. It's, it's confusing the, the about the, the NPCs. Area. Yeah, it's, it's the first area. We've passed it. We're, no it's, anyway, uh, and it's one of the hardest skips in the run. Honestly, it is. it's really yeah. hard, and it's like you've got to stand on the right place just before the trans. So it works like many skips and runs, where there's a trigger point and you've got to run over it somehow without triggering it to skip it and the way we do it is this is how all the skips actually work in the run as far as i'm aware but if you open up dialogue of an npc and keep moving like a momentum thing that titus does once he's talked to him he, he moves by himself a little bit so if you can use that momentum to push yourself over the trigger then you've skipped it and no while also having the dialogue open and it's it's quite it's funny so to watch because they time. you've got like you can run through audio the happening yeah you've got audio happening while titus is moving and his arms are crossed or whatever and in that specific one you have to play um what is it red green red light green light or something it's called but essentially uh -huh. you can't move so when they're not time. talking you need to only move when they're talking so that the encounters can't trigger it's something to do with the audio tracker i think but um Either way, you have to stand still when the when the silence. Otherwise, you could get an encounter there, and they t pose, and it's very very slow to load in. So mm. that that's probably high, that's high road in a nutshell. Those things. <laughs> okay, so we just did a little menu there, which was um, uh, we bought some phoenix stamps and we bought uh, some grenades for later. I don't think I actually need the grenades because I did so well with the spheres earlier, but it's, it's tradition. Uh, you want three grenades for the end of the game, essentially. And the extra one is for um, is for collecting any extra spheres that you want. Uh, this fight, totally gonna let the commentators have fun with this. Go on. <laughs> oh my god, Kega, what are you doing? I don't know. What did oh, I no, do? Oh no, he's at the bus. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Kega, why? Why? Oh, what, what, why did you do that? Oh no! I, I messed up! It's just waves levels of acting, I'm afraid, on my part, sorry. Um, oh no, it's terrible. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Keep in mind, you're next. 
Oh, he keeps doing that. Everyone's been hitting Tidus today. They all hate him. Oh, Tidus is dead. All right, this is my favorite uh, little thing. I want him to do the hop. Do the hop, marathon hop. Come on. Come on. No, he didn't do the hop. I have nothing to prove for that. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna heal all my characters just by touching the safe sphere there. Um, and I think I'll do that. So all the people that I want there right now is um, are getting overdrives. Um, we're gonna flee from all the fights here. This area is notorious for ambushes. They are mean. Yeah, in I feel like in general this whole portion of the run is quite dicey. Like it's very common for you to just have a run die here. Yeah. So hopefully. Right <laughs> and it's usually is uh, the dual horns. Yes. If they Tell have me. an ambush or something like that, it's they just one shot you. So there's not mu there's nothing you can do if you get really unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Also, those movers, they can do a, a fireball ability. It's very rare, oh, the fireball yeah. ability is like 400 HP a pop. And if someone else has hit them already, most of your characters will go down. Also, guys, there she is! There she is! Bye-bye! Sorry. We, might, we, we, just we can mention, bye. though, at least the CHD version. We do have autosave, so we go back it's to the beginning of the screen. So, of the screen. so even if we uh, die, we do not lose too much progress. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the real hard thing about running old things, like old consoles, is they're not really quality of life. No. <laughs> those things don't exist, so like... No, not at all. If you care about those things, you probably should. Um, In America's that's, that's an, Exactly. <laughs> that's, just, that's another reason why these categories are really welcoming and, you know, quite... Yeah. For, it's a lot more forgiving to lose five minutes max to your whole day your whole plan yes thank you for your okay question. this is the bit that you've all been waiting for i'm terrified <laughs> all right Best do try. you want to try or shall i <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna get rid of Clasco first all right so yeah um so here we have the beginning of Mushroom Rock Road, or what Let's could be Mushroom it. Rock Road. I'll be right back. Um, so this screen, uh, this yeah, yeah, this screen has the so-called Clasco skip. But this is a short skip, um, like the one we mentioned earlier. We trigger a cutscene while talking to someone, uh, allowing us to run during the cutscene. And then coming back here, there is a new skip that was found recently, which is called Terra Skip, which um, yeah, it's not a cutscene skip. Which means that we have to do it manually, just like any normal run without cutscene remover. So usually there's an invisible barrier that prevents us from running further on. But as you can see, while talking to this guard, this guard pushes us slowly but surely through this, through these invisible walls. Uh, I have no clue. Please tell me. We are. Okay, so this uh, this normally takes two pushes, um, so there are issues, but essentially what you need to imagine is a prism. So there are um, like a, a little squiggly line that you're trying to use him to push you through. Um, the prism is like, um, it, it's like an X on top of an X, and we try to get through the middle, see, so threading the needle. Um, but if you end up going into like this area or this area, you get trapped and you have to restart. So it's 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 um it's quite easy to do. Um, it's it's a very accessible skip, but it's also terrifying. Especially imagining for like top times if you want to get it as one push. Yes, uh -huh. uh, top times need one push. But I, I will say I think the world record right now has two pushes, which is what I'm doing right now. But yeah, the skip also, as we are skipping quite a bit, like all of Mushroom Rock Road and the boss on top, um, we are a lot lower leveled. We do not get initiative, which prevents ambushes. So. <laughs> And there you go, first try! Nice! 
Thank you. Right. The only terrifying thing now is an ambush here that might kill me because I don't know what's happening <laughs> if I die here. Uh, I mean, currently you are still on the same screen, so you would have to do the skip again. Yeah. Oh, oh this is not a good encounter. Here we go. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ooh, if that was an ambush, that would have been spicy. And that's, that that's the spicy. real scary thing. It's like, you just have no idea. <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> but yeah. Oh Some my god, that room. one's horrible too. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's oh, okay. So easy on you next time. Last one, surely. Oh my god. Heal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Run so the screen at, is like, also I, huge. I, yeah, context, it is massive. That's the thing I've never seen this skip, right? Like when I've run this game, this this skip wasn't a thing. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Seeing live how terrifying it is. It's terrifying, but we did it. We made it. We're safe now. Whew. Nice. Oh, okay, I can breathe. Also, someone in the chat's been asking how I feel about Final Fantasy X too. Um, I can't remember the name, so I apologize. Um, I think it was... Um, yeah, it's okay. Imperator Tyrion. I just got time to do it because I can relax now. Um, so Imperator Tyrion. I like Final Fantasy X too. I, in fact, love it. And you were talking to two people here who also run it. <laughs> and they love it too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we love ten two. We love we running it. No, it's it depends which category you run. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've I've run a. a this no is PC. my problem. I keep running hardware stuff. I shouldn't. Yeah. But PlayStation Two easy. is a rough one for ten two. But uh, PC has a lot of options. Monsters are nice. I like creatures. Creatures are me. It's just fine. Um, brother is kind of. Awesome. We have Agama. Don't don't worry. I always get unlucky and catch Agamas, and I can use Agama instead of. Uh, oh, oh, that's rather. good. I need that. Oh, here we go. So this encounter is very important for the rest of the run as well. Uh, runners actually farm basilisks at this point because we we need them essentially. Um, this is the only. Um, Thing that we'll be uh, using Lancer on for an ability as well, because we don't need uh, self destruct. Oh, we got an ambush! Guys, we got an ambush. Um. It begins. So, um, the good news is that we have just skipped all of Mushroom Rock Road. So, we didn't have to train for that and we didn't have to get all of our um, um, abilities up so that we could basically beat. Um, push, 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 push. Uh, so we could beat um, Gooey, but in doing so, we missed a shop with Awaka, who would sell us uh, initiative, which is what Nikki explained while I was doing the skip, I believe. Um, yeah, was... You did do that, thank you. <laughs> um, right. So I also have just remembered that I need to do another mini menu. So Kimari needs to go here. And we give him a little bit of health. And then Waka, because for the next fight, we're going to use him. And this fight's going to look different to my commentators as well, because uh, we're going to use a new strategy. And it's going to be really interesting. And it's it's stable. It's uh, it's very small chance that it won't work. Um, I, I think I ran out of luck on that one last night. Uh, I, I lost a lot of time with... Um, Ixion is soon as well. Uh, this is the, the temple. So, uh, wow. Three minutes? I was going to slide in real quick and say, yeah, chat, Ixion's real, real soon. There is only a $10 difference right now between the top two. Rarity is in the lead, but Pikachu is right behind. And we've had three tickets bought for the $10 dono train. Thank you for $10 from T-Rav says $10 train. Let's go. $10 from Alien Crustacean saying 10 bucks at 110 for Final Fantasy 10. And $10 from Pokemon Fan, Pokemon Fan 90 saying good luck with the run, Kagar. Love this run, especially the horsey Ixion. I guess you had to be there. <laughs> and we Thank have you. one minute 
left. Get your donations in um, for Ixion if you would like to change the name. Chat, I know you can do it. I believe. So this is my least favorite temple. As with Pavel, at least you have to be engaged. This is... Uh, it's, 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 it's a bit boring. No! Since that's only because no one has has finally made the illustrious Jose skits that has been known for over it 10 exists. years, finally yeah. RTA viable. Over 10 years? It has. So what, so... The video is really old, actually. Yeah. So... <laughs> it looks like a relic when you actually watch the... <laughs> it's so it is. old looking. <laughs> so the um so I was talking to uh Krim and Grey Fox and I think Chris was there as well the other night and um basically we were discussing the they were discussing the possibility of making the Jose Skip Bible and they said no. <laughs> no. The amount of stuff you have to do in order there is so little chance of getting it, it's just not viable unfortunately. But essentially what you do is you use that chocobo who was pushing me to get over the scene. And it's just so hard and apparently not not really doable. So, so what you have to do is you not only have to get pushed by the chocobo for quite a while, because the chocobo is faster than you running, which is why you just try to get pushed anyways. Yeah. yeah. You also then need to talk to the, to the right NPC that is on the way. Mm-hmm. So trigger, so the, the, right trigger, the, trigger the dialogue, then get further pushed with a chocobo into the cut uh, into the cutscene trigger. And I believe during all of that, you're also not allowed to get an encounter. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's 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 impossible. You just know one day someone will do it though. You oh, absolutely! <laughs> it's completely viable, but it's, it's not, not impossible, guys. Are you listening, chat? It's, it's not, not impossible. impossible. Live your dreams. Someone make the Jose skip happen. Put it on the board. I mean, Jose skip would be fun. Does that mean that we would miss out on um, Ixian one? Yes. Sadly, the Cloister of Trials are quite slow. This but... one is so slow. And we're almost done. No, we're not. We have to push the pedestals in. Also, Final Fantasy X run 10 2 runners love it's... this bit. The Putting music's all the nice pedestals though. in and 10 2. Yeah, like that this. feeling 10 2 runners know well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> pedestals. 10-2, there's only one right pedestal and the other for random encounters. If you have, hit, have had to push all four, all five in, then you know you got really lucky. Oh, yeah. I th I guess you could RNG track that, though, right? For 10 and Potentially, yeah. <laughs> That's RNG track for our final so fun. Just Two. that pedestal. That single pedestal. Because I know well records with, like, second pedestal, I'm just saying. First pedestal is not a thing. It's all lies. Okay, here we go. It's done. Ixion okay. naming time. Alrighty, we actually have a very fun game for you both, <laughs> or for you all maybe, in that we have a tie. Oh no. For Ixion's name between Pikachu and Rarity. Uh, we have to pick, so, don't we? There are three of you. You can break a tie if you guys have one on your couch as well. Okay, so who wants to vote first? I'll pick Rarity. Rarity. So. You what guys, you it's see, I can't vote because you guys got to vote. Otherwise, it'll be a tiebreaker. So. I want Pikachu. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, Wait. You have now decided to be last and be the tie break. Okay, Pikachu. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are picking the name Pikachu, and um, 
Yeah, thank you, chat, for making that um, super duper interesting to the end and um, apology, or not necessarily apologies. Thank you, last minute, for that $10 donation from Hawkeye Rio that said, Rarity is my girl to tie it up. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. Just right, over. right as I was stalling as well. Oh. Sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. It's fine. I mean, they donated with the expectations to tie, so everything is possible. If you don't want to tie, I believe. Is one cent a, a possibility? Can you donate in single cents, or is it just yours? I actually don't know. I don't know. You can donate half of it to that incentive. Chat, you like can find awesome. the answer to this question for us by putting your next donations towards yeah. the bid war for <laughs> Shiva. <laughs> yeah, Shiva's on the way. Oh my god, I went backwards. Okay. Um, that is our next bid war. And of course, if you're not um, feeling a bid war, remember we still have the DDR Super Hard Difficulty Showcase um, open as well. You can put your donations to, which all support Malala Fund. Okay. Alright, so just a quick note. This bid is um, a good bit for you to read out any extra donations because I'm going to be running away from every single fight and every time there's, a, there's an ambush, I will say, ow. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> um, we have a $25 donation from Crepe Goat that says, So happy to see Final Fantasy X showcased. Thanks and good luck, Kegar. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Thank you. Right we back. have a $50 donation from Doodlebee. said, had to donate for my favorite Final Fantasy. This game will always hold a special place in my heart. Good luck on the run. Less than three. I will go so Thank easy you. on you next time. We have a $75 donation from Anonymous that says, Late to the party, but never too late to donate. Love what y'all are doing at GDQ. So you all time. rock. And Anonymous, you are 100% right. You may <laughs> be late to the party, but you are never too late to donate. And all those donations are going towards Malala Fund. So thank you for donating because that oh. also gets you in for cool prizes and things as well don't forget to check out what sort of prizes you can get entered into by doing exclamation point donate in the chat so it's just got put to so sleep there the next time. that sucked okay okay we're back on track any more donations yeah, we have a, I just, my page just moved for a moment. We have a hundred dollar donation right from Kaylin, who says, Final Fantasy X was my first JRPG and started a love for the genre. So excited to see it here today at Flame Fatales. Thank you so much, Kay. Thank you. Alright, I'm not going to jinx it by saying I haven't so had any next time. ambushes because he just went to sleep, uh, which is also unlucky. But that would be considered a good move, Moonflow. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for all the donations. It's very sweet of you all. Uh, this next fight is going to be with Extractor. It may look familiar to the Eagle Eye viewers. I let him say all of that because it's cute. So, um, this fight is new to the run. It's the last time um, uh, the route is different until um, until Sphere Grid's near the end. Um, so today we are going to try and slow this guy down with the stunning seal that we bought from Awaka in Luca. 
Um, is right to shoot up actually in the chat right now? Because that would be very funny to me. Um, so we are gonna hit this thing as many times as we can. Wow. Okay, that was surprising. Uh, with tears. And we're gonna look at it intently and hope that it slows down. You don't eclipse the lightning steel? Not yet. I know. Right. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, yes. Thanks. thanks to the lack of grind earlier, we are now a bit weaker than before, so we need to rely on trying to inflict slow. Yes. To get a similar optimal fight. I think it has been slowed, so that is good. Okay, cool. Right, so we need to basically inflict um, 500 damage so that it doesn't um, use depth charges. And because I don't trust this thing, I'm going to use Walker's um, overdrive to make that a definite. Because um, we want to do that before um, it has a turn, essentially. And yes, everyone in the chat is correct. The music on the CSR is broken again. That's slow, but um, you get the idea. I kind of like the music for this bit. <laughs> and if you get two or three on the reels, it doesn't matter. It only, it only matters which one is the majority and that element you get to your shot. Um, also, Chris doesn't like doing the, gr uh, the full thing because apparently um, he, he doesn't like getting the great. It saves like half a second, but he won't do it, <laughs> which I find very funny. All right, so now we can change the lightning steel and take off the last of the damage. We cheer here about four or five times. I did five times because... Wow! Wow! Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow! I was wondering if you need to heal, but I mean, if you just crit all the way... Wow! <laughs> that means... That's... Wow! What? Blessed be the grey fo fox. Blessed be the grey fox. Blessed to the grey fox. <laughs> that was incredible. Yes, she does suck. Oh, a treasure chest. Go for it, sir. I like cold drink. I think it's funny. I'm not like, I'm, I'm not being impartial. Um. Oh, okay. Chat, good news is that we had a $26 donation from Anonymous uh, that went towards pulling Elsa into first place for the name of Shiva. If you like that, make sure to mark your bid votes towards that, or otherwise, you can donate towards some of the other options, such as naming Shiva a Freet, Vice, or Cold Drink. Get out of here! I like Cold Drink is what I was saying to that, which I still think is a very valid thing to say. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. I'll be right back. Um, so, um, everything that we just did there, um, was about not letting um basically you can kill that bunya with riku's overdrive um if you'd like but um it causes more dialogue so we want to avoid that so what we do is we um live and let live. we basically use the last of our potions to use an ultra potion on riku she gets hit again um but it's fine because um 
we have enough power spheres essentially. At this point in the game you want about 30, 30, 32 power spheres and you'll be good for the rest of the game. Um, and then I did my last check uh, for um, speed spheres by killing some bees. Um, so the bees are a good way to overkill yeah, and feeling. get additional speed spheres. So I think I'll be good for the rest of the run for spheres. Um, also, what else? Uh, at this point in the game, you should have been doing this earlier, but the way you talk to people in CSR is different to how you would talk to people in a full run. Essentially, what you're trying to do is um, create affection between... There is an affection uh, mechanic in Final Fantasy X, and you can have affection with Yuna, Lulu, everyone, essentially. It, it, it's quite nuanced, um, but basically every time you have a conversation with someone first, their affection goes up. So, there is a bit after um, Makalani of Woods where you have a scene where you are traveling on uh, snowmobile snowmobiles and you can have either Riku, Lulu or Oren and we want Oren so we talk to him a lot in order to make him feel very loved and and then we have a really awkward conversation over at Makalania which is the shortest scene I think Riku's is the longest um, and it's very very funny and I always love it also, um, at the end of the game, there's a couple more um, scenes which is affected by the affection and Oren just comes across fantastically. He, um, it's a bit weird and I love it, so I highly recommend doing that. <laughs> Funnily enough, Oren is not the fastest. Do you, do, do you know who is the fastest? Uh, Mari? Has, has the shortest dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Himari has the shortest dialogue, but sadly you don't get this affection up fairly Good enough, enough. time. Um, yeah, Kamari makes sense. So you can get affection with Kamari as well. There you go, fun facts, guys. This is the worst bit of this run. This is hell. We are in hell. Uh, remember that we are not f not safe from ambushes and FF10 likes to have really long screens. Yeah. This is hell. Get ready for me to say it out sometimes. Ah! Ow! Also, I'm gonna admit it, I hate lightning bolts. I can't dodge them. I'm so sorry. I won't go so easy on you next time. After this bit though, uh, it's kind of like a boss rush and it's amazing and it, the game like kicks up again real quick. Probably the most enjoyable part of the game. I won't go so easy on and you it's next like it. time. No, lightning dodges are not part of this run. <laughs> they can be. Um, if Nightbox is in the chat, <laughs> he suggested that I do that once when I uh, so missed out on some speed. Yeah, I, I believe Crimson tried to make lightning dodges a thing for Blitzblot strats. Yeah, yeah, he did. It was appalling, and I hate it. It was so embarrassing. I still wish Expert Sphere was a thing. Oh, Matty's trying to make it happen. Matty's on the board with Expert. Yeah, so oh. I've heard that th there is an additional reason why Expert Sphere Grid is not... Like, has a problem with being the fastest, uh, fastest Sphere Grid. Which is that every time you actually use a Sphere on it, you get an extra jingle. Yes. <laughs> like an extra animation. Oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> Uh, me neither, Thanks but it's like, right yeah, back. great. That's what speedrunners wow. love. That's the thing, it would be better if it wasn't for that, I'm guessing, because that adds up to so much time loss, just yeah. that small, tiny difference. <laughs> you skipped Riku. Right, so I don't have to buy anything anymore. So we just go straight and see you now. No shimmering blade for Oren anymore. Nice. We already bought it with uh, Awaka and Luca. Oh. No, wait, we buy it in the next one. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, you only buy the stunning ah. steel there. 
Yes, uh, so in the next menu, we do that. Right. So this bit sucks. Oh, yeah. um, I am terrified. Let's go. Still need to steal some stuff, get some overdrive. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <gasps> ow! 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 It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's annoying. Okay. All under control. Oh, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All according to Keikaku. All part of the plan. Okay. Alright, this is perfect. Alright. Alright, so Riku will get hit now because she has the lowest HP. We want that. She deserves it. We also want to uh, try and get her overdrive full before <laughs> the Sphere Moth bus, which is... F it, there's a while to do it, but here's a good spot. It's yeah. a pretty fast way to do it. We also stole a light curtain there, which is very useful. Uh, yeah. What does the light curtain do, sir? It is for the um, Wendigo fight. So in the Wendigo fight, uh, we get Tidus to the point where if he gets hit by a Wendigo, he won't die. And the best way to do that is to do the sphere grids and also have a light curtain on him. If you, um, if you don't have a light curtain, such as if you don't meet an Iron Giant on your journeys, you can use power brick with Orin, but it is slower because Orin is a slower person and uh, you get less turns, so it's a bit annoying. Luna is Shell, yeah. Oh, people in China, what they're doing. Right, so for this bit, we're going to switch up uh, Rocker for Riku permanently. Right, uh, this is a good time for donations as well. Lovely. I was going to say quick update on the Shiva Bid Wars right that we had a $10 donation from Cypher66 that says, Let it go. Let it go. And Elsa is now leading by $11 in that bid war. But again, chat, you can still influence this bid war. The bid war for Bahamut's name as well as unlocking that super hard difficulty showcase for DDR and all of that right money back. goes to Malala Fund. So support a great cause and also, you know, let's make someone dance their heart outs and get some silly names going for the rest time. of our summons. Yeah. Live and let live. So uh, in this place, Marcolania was, we are trying to collect two more items. We want an Arctic Wind and we want a Fish Scale. And this is where we get the Arctic Wind from. Ah, uh, that is not what I wanted. Or you get the rare steals, Lightning Marble, of which we already got eight in Guarda Salam. So cool. So good. She's dead. But that's well, At least you got Overdrive. Yeah, and now Orin's not going to run away, is he? It's okay. There we go. As long so, as one character's out. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to see if I can get at least one more um, Chimera. Got so many lightning marbles, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're all hitting Riku now. It's so nice of them. Okay. You got the fish scales early already, and 
Yeah, it wouldn't be the first that someone has gone into the next boss with a 75% chance of having the right item. I sure have. And there is a way to change the elemental um, shifts, but it's it's annoying. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, so don't make me do it, game. Right. Uh, let's go. People are starting to get a little bit low in HP, so because it's a marathon and I'm not in a rush. There we go. Well, I am in a rush, obviously. I have a time limit. You're fine. Okay. Wow, really? No problem. Shush, 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 shush. So there are actually moments in this game where Tidus doesn't actually say the lines when he runs away. We like those moments. This is not one of them. Uh, fun to play in the second part is though, because Nina's just told him she's engaged. I hate that one. I hate it when my girlfriend gets engaged. It's so sad. Oh yeah, she's dead. Live and let live. Hey, I think we're gonna have to go in with 75% chance now because we're gonna use the butterfly. So the butterfly basically stops you from getting any encounters as you leave. Um, we just, that just saves some time. A, a, a single encounter is about 16 seconds, so you want to get rid of them, basically. Wait, what? Did that yeah. completely Usually you, you were, you are, I mean, you, you are also, like, you could think about getting that encounter in hopes well, of getting the item. Especially yeah. with both, like, now that we can get ambushes there again. It's also fine to just not... How? I just bowl up. Do you still need the stunning skill? I do. And I can get rid of that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I did it bad. Let's go. There we go. Right, we don't need much money, so that's fine. Um. So basically, what should have happened there was I should have told a worker he's a, 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 a pricey man. Uh, but instead, I just bought the Sonic Steel. So I told him he is pricey, and then I bought the Shimmering Blade. That's all sorted now. We don't have to worry about that. We should have everything we need. Okay. So, um, um, we're going to change his armor to the lightning one. We're going to guard. We're going to guard. We're gonna bring Riku in. Have I messed up? I have messed up a turn order here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, because I didn't put on the Sonic Steel immediately. Oh, well, that's something. But I see 10 runs are all about just in on the fly. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what we do. We haven't talked about it, but yeah, we are just defending so that everyone who needs to get those, those AP. For the levels. Wait, does Karina need those levels? Does he just say for emotional support? Oh, um. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. He does, yeah. Also, Grey Fox, thank you for telling me you saw high functions. Yeah, the game's order is also broken. Another CSR lovely sound bug. Right. This is one of my favorite menus. I don't know why it's one of my favorites. I just really like it. The nice big one. I like yeah, Final tasty. Fantasy speedruns are all, all about the menus. If you guys like menus, this is a big one. It's a fun one. A nice one. But we don't have to do Yuna's Grid anymore here. I'm just going to throw that out to our, our commentators because they don't know that. Yeah, it's... So, one of the nice things about skipping Mushroom Rock Road is that usually there's the big nasty boss at the end, so we need something to do to to kill that boss. And we used to level Yuna to do that, but now it's you just bypass all of that since Yuna's only really useful for that thing. So, it's a huge time save. Yeah, and it changes Yuna needed the magic so that uh, Valifor's energy blast would increase in strength, but mm -hmm. yeah, we don't need Yuna's magic stat anymore. So, that's nice. Not until very much later. But, but that's not magic. Right? 
Uh, sure it's, not. it's strength and magic. It's a combination. Everyone, focus right. on the enemy. We don't get any ambushes anymore. Back. And if we do get ambushes, it's okay because Tinas has first strike. It's the most important weapon in the game. Yeah. But we finally, finally don't get killed by ambushes anymore. We made it. Right, this is also a fun fight to learn. Just don't mess it up. Grey Fox, are you there? I know you're there. Uh, right, so Riku comes in. Riku um, uses this. So this is actually the run... Uh, this is the fight that I met Grey Fox on. Um, I remember quite distinctly. And at one point I was doing this fight and Grey Fox said, Yuna didn't get a turn. Just in the chat, just out of nowhere, and I was just like, what? And he was like, you didn't get a turn, you did it wrong. You didn't follow the instructions. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, you're right. Oh, I can make this work. So What's I kept going. Nice damage roll. Yeah, it was a nice damage roll. Um, so I kept so, yeah. going, and then I did Wendigo, and he said, he just didn't get a turn. <laughs> just like, his friend's dead. Okay, uh, continue talking while I concentrate. <laughs> yeah, so that's a small satellite at the beginning that we were killing actually has exactly 1k HP, so it is a damn roll. If that lightning marble actually takes it down in one hit or not. But yeah, that not much. Why did I do that? Really happens. Why did I why would you let me do that? Kega, you did not follow the instructions. I didn't follow the instructions. I'm gonna die. Be like, I have no idea what's happening because I, like, I yes, assumed this was the new route. It's like, no, you, you know, throwing a phoenix down on herself is it's uh, very smart, <laughs> very smart. But luckily, there's a checkpoint right here, so we'll just there forget is. that one. That was but like, what just the happened? Test. Nothing happened. It was a test run. This is and that, literally what I just said. It can't be understated how much. The checkpoints really help for this, right? Oh, because yeah. these fights are really punishing. You make one difference on the thing. Done. Yeah, yeah, that is that is actually a very good example of that. And we didn't get the Tidus bug either. He still has a name. Hmm. And what Nikki explained there just happened. Yeah, that's that, that's a bad damage roll. Nice salt. 42 afterwards. I know. Unbelievable. Yeah, sometimes when you die and have to reload, Titus' name magically disappears, and then you just have an empty name standing there, which is probably also a good idea why we didn't need a donation incentive for it. Yeah, that's Yeah, it would disappear. <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah. That is so. I mean, most crashes actually are in cutscenes, so those shouldn't happen in CSR, but you never know with Final Fantasy X. Even the most unlikely things just. I mean, as we just cast picks. off and enough. It's crazy! Alright, so yeah. Um, the good thing is, guys, I know where I went wrong there. You know, didn't need a big exam. Okay. And now, because of that, we bring Titus in. Basically, on, on a lot of bus fights, I think pretty much all of them, minus the beginning, it's like a script that you must follow. And even if it's a really small mistake, like just swapping a weapon, like sometimes fights will have you swap a weapon twice. What if you did it three times? Then that probably messes up the entire fight. And it's luckily with PC, you have the checkpoint. So it really is just like, it's hard to always get it correct. I'm sure it many speedrunners know that, but yeah. um, this it is happens. This is one as well. Yeah, so if and I um, are keenly aware of what happens when um, we make teeny tiny mistakes, and you're like, it's fine, and then yeah. it's not fine. <laughs> Nikki doesn't was, make mistakes. <laughs> I think it was Elliot who said Final Fantasy speedrunning is best summed up by like making a mistake and then being so like horrified by it that you just don't do it again. Never do it again, yeah. 
Sometimes you just push the limits and see what's possible. And see what's not possible. Yeah. Like, not following the instructions. One of the great <laughs> things of learning a speed game. Make every mistake and see what happens. Exactly. You'll die, and but it'll be fun. You know, honestly, and this is a cutscene we won't get to see because cutscene removal, but Aura says life is about learning from your mistakes. And I think that's true. That Especially in speedrunning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, so I need to equip this. I speedrun this every um, every week. And I've done it for a year. Um, I actually... Um, so the funny thing about this is that I met Nikki and Soph when they were running Final Fantasy X. And, um, and yeah, we bonded over the fact that it is a very silly grind. <laughs> um, so um, I, I carried on just running it forever. They went off and did like other Final Fantasies and, and I'm just like still here <laughs> to Final Fantasy X. That's the thing that's really enticing about Final Fantasy speedruns though I think is the nature of it just being endless hard to predict you don't know what's yeah. in store that day when you fire up a run of whatever and that's why yeah, i I, I prefer the longer the better with ff runs because it's like i get to plan my day for it it's, yeah. it's like and it's i nice, think that's it? what entices a lot of people to to final fantasy runs or long runs in general or just games they like playing it's a nice way to play a game you like playing, it's a different way again yeah and final fantasy 10 is like a really f good speed run for that it's like I'd say it's one of the best speedruns to learn as your first runs. Oh, definitely. But, and that's the thing, you can just learn so much with this run. That is very true. Also to note, at the end of this fight, we will name Shiva, so that is true. if you want to uh, snipe that name, I'm sure Cody Host has all the names, and now is your last chance. I knew you were. Yeah. Right now, Elsa is still in the lead by $11 over Efreet, but that can change so quickly. Chat, get in your donations and mark them for that bid war if you want to see that swing one way or the other. Uh. <gasps> okay. This fight is choreographed within an inch of its life and it is very, very scary the first time you do it. Um, it's very easy to die here. Just be that's, glad the old threats were awful. <laughs> um, this fight, like I said earlier, is very scripted, but it's also not because it's going to kill random people. Like, mm -hmm. you can't really, especially in this category, you can't decide which character is going to be killed off. So you Yay. have to adjust still in the fights. Mm -hmm. Even though they're scripted, you still have to adjust. And this is the case for a lot of boss fights. In one. And that's why this one's tense, because we've had Kamari, which is, maybe, you know, it's like a variable that you have to bear in mind. Yeah. It's going really good. Yes! Six! We love this. Nice. So you get two opportunities to steal in this fight, and um, I got the best steals for that. Imagine dying a crawler and not dying to this one. <laughs> That's the thing. This one's very precise because there's a reason why we do all the extra things like swapping weapons and such, is so that it ends with Thundara. Because every time he uses a magic spell, he'll swap elements. So we've got the trinket that uh, makes you immune to it. So that's why you've got to be really precise on this one. But like all the bosses have that gimmick where right. you're going to die if you don't follow the instructions. Yes. Uh, we have a Shiva. All right. It looks like currently... Our winner for Shiva is Elsa. Lovely. Very nice choice, guys. So, chat, thank you so much for all your donations towards that 
naming incentive. We have one more bid war for this run. Mm -hmm. It will be the name for Bahamut. The best Currently, one. Currently, the, the last one. The best one. The best one. You're the so right. The most important one. Um, currently in the lead is Barbie. Ooh, so chat, um, get your get your votes in there. We also recently have a, another bid war open for the dancer for that DDR showcase that is coming up later, either being Luigi or Mario. And if you want to see either Luigi or Mario dance super hard and said, make sure to mark for that super hard difficulty showcase. Chat, we're a little under halfway there for that showcase. Let's make that runner dance for her life. Yes. Let's upgrade that to super hard difficulty. I know we can do it. I believe in Barbie and I believe in running. I believe in a thing called love. Chad has great taste in names today. Yeah, really proud of everyone today. The names have been great. Chat is so powerful all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, we're gonna get through some boss fights before we get to Bahamut. So it gets quite it gets quite exciting now, doesn't it, guys? He says. Um, okay, so what else? Uh... Yeah. All you really need to know about this trial is do not touch the pet in the end. Be careful how you're acting. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, imagine. Imagine doing that twice. It, it's, I honestly it's... do not know how to actually salvage it except loading the auto save. You just do it all again. <laughs> Because you, you can't even do the same thing you did before because you've unlocked the destructions for your staff. It's, you don't have know. to basically you have to do it again. So you have to touch the thing again to swap the but destruction yeah. sphere back out. It's very annoying. Just, 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 just be very, very careful. Take it very slowly. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> It's, no, it's tricky because it's, it's right on a turn as well. It's like yeah. right as the camera swaps. Yeah. We haven't I've talked about really it, close but conditions. movement in Final Fantasy X and X-2 is very special. It and is, yeah. If you were special. to just keep on running, you would run onto that pad. Yeah, you would. You absolutely would. Okay, this is where right. I don't do the skip again. You're not even... Come on, you can do it, I believe. Do you? So here you need really good movement and it's really tight. In order to basically just... Nah run out this exit on the other side before they catch up with you. On PlayStation 2, it's not even possible, I don't think, because no, it moves not. really slow compared to PC. Yeah, let's see, it's, see. it's tight on PC. CSR is going to crash. The screen mm -hmm. obviously every time makes me wonder because like if you try to skip this encounter by running, I'll be right back. like you do not look at Titus, you only look at the minimap if like <laughs> other top runners actually run while well, looking at Titus or if they just run straight mini map. I mini think most of the time. That's the thing, the longer you've run it, the more your eyes just i the thing is my eyes are watching the mini map. Just yeah, so this run. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer, I suppose. I guess. I guess I didn't depth to that yet. But yeah. For some reason I it just happened to me one. naturally. Bit easier to see, I think. I'll be right back. I think usually, like actually, I wouldn't believe that it makes a difference, and then the the skip just shows you that it does make a difference. It does, yeah. Cause yeah, if you take it really sharp, you would be able to. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This fight's kind of fun. So yeah, this is another pretty spicy fight. This is the last fight that spooks me and it's not necessarily difficult in the sense of what you have to do but this boss hits hard is the problem and it'll hit random characters so we, we really want Titus to survive because that's our damage dealer so that's why we pop the protect and we'll prioritize heals because he has haste and if he's down 
he loses all the buffs you've spent turns pointing up, so... And we also need to leave... Yeah, go, go. We also <laughs> need to leave this fight with AP on specific characters too, so... It's really hard juggling everything. I was gonna mention, you also need to be careful not to kill the other quarter. We've seen the first photo yeah. cast a shell on Wendigo when dying. The last, the other quarter would cast protect, which obviously, considering we are attacking physically, is not what we want to see. Interestingly enough, there are some different strategies where you do kill both and then but that's a whole different thing. But that's the that's another thing that I'd like to mention on this speedrun is that there's a lot of different strategies for bosses. And they all add up to different things. But this is probably the best one. This is the one yeah. I use. <laughs> it's the less scary one. It's still scary. Very it's nice. It's scary! Yeah! Okay, I, I'm not going to do that yet, because I already messed myself up the, the last time I did that. We're going to talk to Riku. Oh, sorry, can't see that. Going to talk to Yuna. Sorry, don't go watch that either. Um, did you touch the save Yes, I did. Promise. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Time to watch Lulu cheat. Yeah. She never learned that. There. Right. Need some help. Oh no, I'm blind. And then wait a second. Are you over? She shouldn't know that. Lulu casting Sandara. Unbelievable. I know, right? It's so rude. It's cheating. So the whole reason we had to do like the extra stuff in that fight is simply because it doesn't let you run away till like Lulu gets it. the Lulu dialogue stuff, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go and say hi to Mari now. I find this part so sad, like Kamari just walking up the I hill know. and sliding down again. Right, sometimes. This is fun. Um, oh, this is perfect, actually. Uh, we're going to use Kamari to steal from you. We want those to um, um, gotcha. sleep powders go for a, a battle later. Um, but if you look carefully, sometimes you can see Kamari being reiterated. And you can see him walking up again. He comes over the top of the hill. <laughs> He's just stuck there doing that forever. Yeah, just forever, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of grim. Where's Yuna? Right back. Yuna, Aww. where is she? Good dog. So, it, to get to the story, we're in a desert stranded in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and Yuna's missing and obviously we're guardians. So, we're looking for her. Go so easy on you next time. There's also another skip coming up very shortly. It's not a story skip, it's just a battle skip, but it's... And when you get it right your first time, it's immensely satisfying. I don't need to steal anything anymore. Uh, I can take them apart. I'll be right back. Wanting to jump right in real quick, we hit another okay. 10 minute marker. So, chat, if we can do another $10 dono train, and this time maybe put $5 towards that DDR super hard difficulty showcase, and five of those dollars towards the Beat Mania, um, I believe it is 2DX Encore Set Incentive, which also just opened. You can split your incentives how you will, so maybe this next $10 train, let's try and get both of those challenges unlocked. Let's make Don't someone like dance that. real hard, and let's get an encore at the end of that Beat Mania set as well. Oh, 
Okay, so we're just going through here. Uh, I think we have some time for some um, more donations as well. No complaining. Live and let live. Lovely. We do have a $25 donation from an Onyx Mouse that says, I hope I will soon be transfixed from watching some DDR tricks. I would highly approve to see Risaru groove to some super hard Mario mix, which was a very well-timed donation from the Onyx Mouse. Thank you so much. Here. Uh, we also chat. This event is hosted by Frame Fatales, which is an all-women gaming community that people like Hagar are a part of. Hi. So if you want to join a group of lovely speed-running ladies like the one you see on screen right now, head on over to Twitter and look for at Frame Fatales, or type FF in chat to learn more. And if you head over to Twitter, participate in our poll on the Games Done Quick Twitter on the pronunciation of our lead blonde protagonist in this game's name and the correct pronunciation. I won't go so easy on you next time. Uh, just to add in that, I just stole a smoke bomb there to uh, protect me against a ambush in home because we do get ambushes still and it can be quite annoying. Um, so... For this fight, we're going to use this ability. It's very satisfying as well. There you go. Love doing that. <laughs> it is a very glitchy ability. I know. But we need the Have you ever seen the MU bug? No, I haven't. I believe it was on this one, where he starts charging it, but then uh, he runs into the wrong direction. Up into oh. stars and far beyond. All right, Riku, do the thing. She didn't do the thing. She did do the thing. She didn't do the thing. All right, so, one more time. This skip is really hard. Is all I'm gonna say about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's marathon luck. I got it first time last night. <laughs> and this was another recent-ish discovery. Calm down. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Sorry, I'm bursting your eardrums. Okay. As long as she doesn't run off into the night, we're okay. Right. No, that's terrible. Okay. Oh, that's a me. Okay, one more time. This is the one. Riku, come on. This, uh, it's hard Riku. to see on the PC version. The, the floor texture is really... But there's kind of like an there's a kind of a shadow that's a good indicator of where yeah. you need to stand here. I'm gonna and clear the screen. It's really hard to get Riku to push you in the right direction as well. Yeah, she she pushes you over that trigger. That it's real close. You yeah, can it see is. that Have it's you ever kind tried of working. Left side? No. The forbidden Should left side, Nikki. No, I, I haven't either. <laughs> I've heard that it might be better for the retries, but I haven't either. So I was just yeah, wondering. Yeah, like, it could you be. You can a good also idea do this it. on the left, for all I know. You can do it on the yeah. left. Yeah. I think that, that could be a good backup. No, I'm going to do it. This is the one. There yeah. we go. There nice. we go. It's Let's really try. hard to get all those elements <laughs> to come together, but luckily you didn't really lose much time to make, you know, like failing it. So the encounter only triggers while you move. Like, you yeah, actively yeah. move, and not while Riku pushes you. So Riku pushes mm -hmm. you far enough. Yeah. You... Why did you do this? This should be quick. Three. Oh, three M's. Pretty good, yeah. We like that. Wait, kill. Uh, it's not ideal because it slows you down, so you have to keep guarding with them. And then they're going to hit two people. Uh, one of them is Lulu, and the other one is Lulu. So uh, that will happen. And <laughs> yes, it's annoying, huh? I think um, someone told me that. Um, Let's find Yuna, quick! What the Alberta saying is get underground. But it sounds bad. like yeah, and it sounds whatever. 
you want to uh, in our bed, yeah. But it sounds like whatever you want. Ah, and this is why I got a this is why I got a um, smoke bomb. So now that we have an ambush here, we need to use a smoke bomb so that the dual horns don't hit me in the face. See? Yeah. Very spooky fight otherwise. Yeah. Um, and then we lance that. Wow. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, right. And then we want to rage and then we do that. That is not in an ideal situation. Normally it's way quicker. I was going to say, if it was, I would seriously argue to lance it on the bombs, but... Yeah, you can do that. Um, that is that is the quicker situation, but I didn't do that, so that's on me. Alright, I can't do much about that, but we are going to switch Kamari out again. And let's all pray for no ambush. Safety. I'm going to touch this. Yeah, I'm just going to touch that just in case. So, no ambush, please. Everyone pray in our hearts. We're good! So this door does not count as a screen transition, so it also doesn't auto-save. Which means mm -hmm. if we were to die here, we'd have to do the last fight again as well. Easy. Nice fight. Okay, um, the music does die here, don't worry about that. Um, And we're going to pick up a level 4 key sphere. And we're going to pick up a level 2 key sphere. Um, and now we are entering into my favorite boss. I know I say favorite because I'm sick, but this is an awesome boss. This is an absolutely awesome boss. So you're going to tell us about tall boy strats, right? No, they don't exist. Right. So there are there are several strategies for every. Um, the the one that I'm going to use is the one that I recommend to everyone who's just started this game, and it's all connected to that Lux Sphere we picked up in Kilika Forest. Do not forget the Lux Sphere. I have done a run. But I've gone to this point and realized I forgot the Lux Sphere and I could not continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm laughing, but really it was very upsetting. Um, it was it was very horrible. Um, <laughs> it's still laughing, I don't know why. Anyway, the other strategy is Blitz Lost Strat, where you would have to pick up a Baroque Sword and a, um, a Lunar Curtain. And you can get that in the Thunder Plains. Um, and this, and the final strat, which is what Nikki was referring to, is Tallboy Strat, where you pick up the level 4 key sphere and you don't pick up the Lux Sphere, and you use the level 4 key sphere to create a Tallboy. But in order to make this work efficiently, you need to, um, yeah, that's right, uh, you need to um, get Tidus's overdrive correct immediately. And I can't do that under pressure, so I panicked, and this is why this one is better. So we're going to mix a map and we're going to mix a look scene. And then that miracle drink is delicious, and it makes Fetus do crits every hit. Well, isn't that nice? But at the same time, it is nice because it means that I have an overdrive for Riku. I do not have any spare turns in this fight, so I can't bring any of them back. Um, but it does mean I have to pick up some gems later, which is fine and easy. Um, and this is the At bit where you, you start- got the overdrive. Yeah, I got the overdrive. Like, that's very good. Um, and that's the bit where you start squeaky bum and you do it. It's such an easy fight. Alright, this bit's fun. I think everyone agrees this bit's kind of fun. As long as you get it perfectly right. 
Do you guys want to explain this bit? So yeah, it's time for Kratzel Wedding, obviously. As the good people we are, we are ru running straight into the holy church with our airship to crash the wedding. A few guards on the way, but I mean, nothing good can stop us. We'll just Stay use, like use some Seymour. neat items that we've picked up earlier. Mm -hmm. And our nice, friendly sword. That's yeah. that's the thing. Beacon L really, what you, decisions you make in Beacon L Desert, in terms of what you was, would steal or whatever, comes into play here. But you can you can use a lot of resources. It just loses yeah. different amount of time. Ideally, you want like sleep grenades. I think they're the best. Just make everything good to sleep, and it's fine. <laughs> but you can do anything really. Yeah. Uh, as long you as so basically. The goal here is to not let the these guys attack. Yeah. Flamethrower so guys the are slow and yeah. bad. I mean. Very mean. Also, if you're at this point, you can buy some um, power distillers or speed distillers if you feel like you're lacking in any um, spheres at this point. It's a nice little back up. It's a quick one as well. Um, because these guys only drop um, potions and ability spheres. You can talk to Rin on the airship and you can get those, but they're very cheap and very handy because we are coming into a bit in the run where those things are quite important. <laughs> it's a space. Those time. robots, the robots also aren't fun on this fight either. Like, no. It's uh, just a really you. hard. Yeah, they'll kick you out of the fight and the last one has like fire stuff. Ugh. The nightmare if you don't come in prepared. Yes. So that's any type of like crowd control type thing, like yeah. silence or sleep is good here. Smoke grenades as well, uh, which you can get from zoos in multitudes. But I didn't get any zoos in Beak now, apart from the first one. So. Mm. Also, if you have the bomb pause from the fight that we had with Riku earlier, you can throw them at this guy and it just dies. It's really nice. I like that strategy. There is another strategy where you use three uh, grenades, but didn't need it. Also, do not die there, because if you die there, CSR dies, and you will not get your save back. And oh my god, it's time for the trials. Okay, this this trial is the one that I think everybody... I, I don't want to know what, what kind of person would enjoy this, I suppose. <laughs> no, I still like, don't, I don't know how, how people like use this trial to, during this trial, map out King. the mana for exactly. uh, no encounter I have done armor. that. That makes this, this makes this trial even so much harder. Oh, yeah. It's hard. And I, I think it's the, one of the things where, like, speedrunners, casual, doesn't matter how you play this game, you'll remember this part. And it's, it, there's not really anything you can do speedrunning wise other than, other than just do it correctly. And it is timing based, so. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, by the way, this trial will take five minutes. So you've got five minutes for your donations for Bahamut's name. Oh, lovely. So remember, chat, we still have that bid for open for Bahamut's name. Barbie is still in the lead right now, but it is closing shortly, so get those in now. Also, we had a $20 donation from Anonymous that said, $10 train, let's add two carriages. And so thank you so much for adding an additional carriage to that train chat we are so close to halfway to that ddr mario mix super hard difficulty showcase i know we can do it i really want to see it and i think you do as well so let's get some of those donations in and remember to flag it there for the incentive of unlocking that showcase and all of your donations, no matter where you mark them, are going towards unlocking our bonus game this evening of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So just so that you know, all of the what you're doing is helping go to that and also benefiting Malala Fund. So let's get chugging on that dono train and let's see what we can get going on here. Yeah, let's go. Never make any mistakes in this trial, by the way. Ever. 
Um, Nikki, so how many times have you gone down there accidentally and had to come back up? Too many times. Well, I, I definitely have done it. I've done it. I don't know how many times. <laughs> Too many times. I think, I think once, it's torturous to count but how many I have times. Also run the least of us. That's like, I mean, true. Like, how many runs have I done? <laughs> 10, 15? I've done it most just out of being so prolific. Yeah. So, you know, I'm that jaded, like, FF10 runner who's done all the mistakes <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh, I've done all the mistakes. It's so funny. I think there's worse mistakes in this, though. Like, just... Oh, yeah. The first one, the, f the very first, like, junction is timing based but it's like it's just off mm -hmm. and it's, it's this is gonna sound very strange but in your okay. head you almost count like the 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 like the rhythm of it swapping and yeah, that's do, what yeah. you start to attune to more than visual because the visual is deceptive on this puzzle i find <laughs> i think you're right actually uh the the Try rhythm and tune is into more the important. rhythm yeah yeah because but, uh, yeah i think the so there's right um, I'm going to be fresh for all the people in chat here. This trial is hard and it's hard for two reasons. That first rhythm that you have to get, if you don't get that rhythm, you're out. The next one is going down the avenue, uh, the second avenue on this one, uh, on this level. There is a really beautiful video which explains how to do this trial. Um, it basically splits it up into two parts and it is really well explained. And if you watch it, you will be able to do this trial just as quickly as i can but it, exactly it's there it's, it's like for anything in the speed run there's always videos resources oh, and things yeah. but specifically for this just watching through it and seeing like okay you know it's like it's mapped out really well like it should yeah. be in a university dissertation on final fantasy 10 on how to get through the mouth trials <laughs> that's the thing exactly. as a kid it took like forever to get through this one oh, we geez. were stuck so this one here, this this avenue, you will miss the ribbon on that so many times. Everyone does it. Everyone if you misses go, it. if you go randomly from the start from the starting uh, pad on, on this uh, line, then you have just a 50-50 chance to be able to go to the right here. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this one only goes in two directions and the other in three, and they both go at the same speed. Yep. It's horrible. So actually, um, this was quite smooth for me. Yeah, Re reaction speed cannot help you on this one. You just have to actually start at have the right spot, it. which is difficult because you don't see the arrow in the back. No, you have to feel it. Like, I think that's the thing. That's that's I, that's the thing. I think you just start to feel it. Yeah, you just <laughs> you just pretend you know what you're doing. <laughs> you're just like, this is fine. Just go, whatever, whatever. It feels whatever. right. And then this feels right. I'll just click it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the good thing about the other two uh, arrows, so the first and the third arrow on this section, you just hold down X and you go. Um, for the second one, you have to tap it at the exact right time. But now I don't have to worry about that anymore. But that's the same for the one on the first floor as well. That's why me and Soph have issues with that first one, because you have to tap it at the exact right time. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of tricky to see it on PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. And I think it's still tricky on PC. It's it's always tricky. You can hold it on the second as well. But yeah, if you're on the, yeah, wrong the, cycle, yeah. the way back. If yeah. you're on the wrong cycle, you just won't make it. Exactly. Yeah, you'll just it, go like, over there. If you miss that first one, it's I kind of name. dicey. Yes. Uh, it's time to name my baby. My baby boy. My big baby boy. Are we ready for back? Well. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Unnamed one. The incentive was just closed which means we will be naming Bahama Barbie fantastic well done chat I love you all so much perfect oh god I did that wrong <laughs> Barbid Barbid no it's Bobby well done everyone Right. And thank you so much, chat, for all your donations for those bid wars. Reminder that we do have still one bid war up, which is for the upcoming run, choosing whether the dancer will be Luigi or Mario. But if you want to as well, 
let's put that towards that showcase and then whether we get Mario or Luigi, we get to see it in super hard mode. Hell yes. That's gonna be hilarious. Right, so this will look familiar to my fellow runners. This is the same one that we always do with Mario. The next bit's gonna be quite interesting for them. So this is the first time we have to, uh, this is the first time we do Yuna on the Spear Grade. Congratulations, Yuna, you have graduated. Let's go. And we use that level four key sphere that we picked up from uh, home. And we go over it here and we pick up a few more strength spheres. That's the so, reason we don't put Hallboy strats anymore. We actually yes. need that sphere. We do, yeah. So. We pick up those ones, and then we go say hi to Oren. So he's activated a sphere, and you can teleport to that. So we teleport to that, and then we use the magic sphere that we picked up all the way back in Luca, and we add that in. So um, now we are going to beef my beautiful Yuna up. Beef a lot. It's very important that you beef her up because you will say bye. So this is this is another satisfying sphere grid. If anyone's into sphere grids, this is this is a good one. So fun fact as well, the mana and the HP spheres actually do contribute to strength by half. So if you get four of them, you get an extra strength. Very silly. Very silly mechanic. Also, yes, this is the best music in the game. It is. It's a beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Oh, don't you worry. You're going to see Yuna do stuff. She's going to be so good. such a spiritual step for except bonking people really really hard and exactly yeah. it makes a lovely bonking sound dude it i feel does. like final fantasy yeah. has that pretty good in all of Let's them go the, bonk. The, the, the bonk is so good and uh it's she's it's like she's playing golf or tennis or something yeah <laughs> um so there's, there's a specific reason why we're using pikachu here and it's because we're gonna be using uh, this one later on, so mm -hmm. it's faster to, and it has a, the fastest animation for like a it second does. step. So it's just a fast way to get the, because every summon that you summon, the the cutscene is long until you resummon them again. So it's faster to lose this time here, but then gain it later on, to not having to sit through it again, and also yeah. gaining the time save from using its fast attack thing. After that, though, it's you won't get much variety. Oh, Barbie. <laughs> they, did, they, they did it in FF9 with the summons. It's the first summon. It's always a long animation, and they did it here as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they did, yeah. So in Final Fantasy VIII, you have to watch the scenes all the time. That's three. True. But Yeah, yeah but they're so good. They are really Also, good. they added the boost mechanic, which kind of... Yeah, I you have that. to. I love it when games force me to watch the cutscene every time. Really, <laughs> let's go. They, they prefer to just give you something to do during the cutscene yeah. instead of yeah. Talking. Keep them busy. And it's it, you know it, it, it's a benefit to you as well. To be fair, I have to admit I do love boosting summons. It was yeah, like too. that was the strat as a kid for a boost. I couldn't find it. Okay, so this <laughs> is actually cool. hilarious because I am going to do something and then I'm going to walk away. Are going to urinate. Um, um, this is tradition. This is tradition in the Final Fantasy X community. Let's go, Bobby. I'm going to go so, pee. Yeah, so since this is cutscene remover, there really isn't many break opportunities, and this is probably your best one. And you know, it's like two hours. Oh, you know, so yeah. we get it's a long, it's a long cutscene, too. Like, if you think about the I don't know how long it is. 
I don't think it is that long, but I mean, Kega has experience with it, so, so she will know that she can make it back in time. Exactly. But. And another thing to know is uh, you can use Turbo for this category. I think, I'm not sure how the rules are for Final Fantasy X, but Turbo is like using Final the... Final Fantasy X just allows Turbo. Yeah, then I think it's like... H, or at least on PC, I think on PS2 not yet. But definitely on this category, Turbo yeah. is something that you'll be allowed to use for speedrun effort. And it's helpful for things like this, quality of life of being able to take a break in a four hour whatever run. So, it's not take it. It's oh, literally God, just one button. Yeah. The, the other would be during Blitzball, if you can actually hide behind the goal, which... Yeah, that one's We didn't, risky. we got a Jazz Terrain instead. Also, <laughs> nice crit. Oh, this is this is a new thing in the in this route that Battle Plus always a one shot. Might actually. We'll see this fight. See, in the old route, Soph and I were running. Uh, Battle Plus was a two shot. This is a very long run, guys. <laughs> Okay. What I missed? Uh, is Vela for always a one shot with a new route? Yes. I cannot. So I guess Bahamut is also four shot or something? Yeah, it's four shots, yeah. Instead of five. Neat. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Unicom's in very good. I love that. So what we had, what, what you might have seen, uh, so usually uh, in Final Fantasy games, the natural damage cap is 9,999. Um, this is also a thing in this game. Um, this game introduced uh, um, the da damage break? Break damage limit. Break damage. Um, which allow uh, is an ability that you can have on weapon, which allows characters to break that damage limit. Um, Aeons also unlock it if you get the hidden item in the dungeon, uh, in the trial, the corresponding trial. But for Bahamut, well, I think it is that chest right at the end that we pick up. Um, some people even believe that there isn't one, but for Bahamut it is just unlocked. So Bahamut just naturally, with the physical attacks, can exceed from 9999 to 99999, yeah. which we sadly won't see, I believe, unless we crit. But yes. I am gonna um, do an actually. Um, the way to do break damage limit with the other summons is to get the sigils. Yeah. Sorry. Was that. Never mind. Does that mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, the, the, the presents are um, for anime. The stay stuff. So the disruption space stuff is anime. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm sorry, because um, uh, I was trying to be funny, but I'm not. Um, so the reason why I know this is because the sigils that relate to each of the summons that don't have break damage limit, there are five. So Yuna doesn't have one, and neither does Tidus. Orin has, um, so I think it's Orin is Yajimbo, Waka is Ifrit, Kamari is Ixion. Oh no, wait, Yuna is one of them. Um, I love the fact that Yojimbo has uh, has that ability when all he really aims for is San Mato, which really doesn't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he does have break damage over though. And um, the last one is... Lulu. Um, it's for Shiva. So if you want to get break damage on it with Shiva, you have to dodge 200 lightning bolts. <laughs> I never did that. Never did it! Okay. Right, we're gonna go over to where Titus was. You know who's Valifor, everyone is correct. Well done, Chad. Thank you. Oh, 
Also, I was making fun of myself that I'm sorry. It's a long run. Ah, uh, here we go. Right, in this run, it's quite rare to actually have all of the levels for this specific bit, but we should be fine. Okay, let's go, let's go. So, if we were all counting earlier, um, we will know that we had three fights in the view of Purusia Cup. And we killed three Maze Lava. Now, in this run, we only have to kill one robot with Yuna. Also, she did the bomb cover. I'll be right back. Um, so that should be enough, but I'm going to get an extra one for safety. What do you think? Sure. Hold on, Kamari! There we go. Just be careful, I don't know how to do this anymore, but I remember the there was a time at the beginning when I accidentally venued a level too much because I fought like an encounter too much and then it's at, at, at like the venue after this I had a level more than I needed to. Oh really? That's actually pretty handy actually, I think. Yeah, but that meant that I ac accidentally venued that level already, That, but it was one too far so it wasn't even useful, but just yeah. a wasted level and so I suddenly was XP behind and... Oh no! I mean it's more weird. Yes. Yeah, that is more weird. Just something to be careful mm -hmm. about. Oh, yes. Alright. Here she comes. The Natus, he is really evil. He just vanishes Aeons after one, one of their attacks. Which is what we shall we do, I wonder? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I. Oh my gosh, did I do that? Foiled his plan. Spoils forever. I can't believe Seymour came back to get bunked on the head. Now here we skip the best cutscenes in the game. Yeah. The romance yeah, bits. Cute. I know they're soft to everyone in chat's hearts. Dear to everyone's hearts. <laughs> You're missing out on smoochy, smoochy time. The cutscene so long you could take a shower in it. Or do an FF3JP speedrun during it. Or... <laughs> I didn't yeah, anyone. like... I literally nearly fell asleep during it. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> it's like to it's be fair on PC, one. you can like skip the last two minutes FMV yeah. or something, but it's still like eight you minutes long. You have to watch long. the beginning, yeah. It's uh, so all together, it's a ten-minute break. Which it's is like incredible. eight versus ten or something. Yeah, still... we'll get through this. It absolutely outstanding. They just swim around and hug, but the implication... The implication... They, just, they swing and hold hands and that's beautiful enough. That's the thing. Yeah, that's why it's so beautiful. And that's Final Fantasy, isn't it? They love each that other. Romance. Yeah, yeah, the romance is lovely. We have a big Final Fantasy. Oh my god, I don't have to steal anything anymore. Nice. That's a nice rare steal. Um, so it's a big old romantic. She's a big Final Fantasy icon. Which, again, like Final Fantasy VIII is probably one of the honest to god romances of Final Fantasy. Like, that is. It is, story though. Is it's like, important. it's so yeah. much about that. And as you get older, you're yeah. like, oh, it's it's actually not very good. No. <laughs> but it's it not. still has your heart. Because it hit what you. What are as you a talking kid. about? Zealand is hot dog. That is pure That's love. True. Nothing That's can commitment. Get between them. They really love each other, yeah. That's the romance you fall in love with as a 30 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, Zell and his hot dogs. And hot dog girl, who knows that Zell loves his hot dogs. She's yeah. a sweetheart. We yeah. love her. Okay, so this is a very long expanse where we don't do anything, so let's have some donations! Of course, we do have some donations. Um, <laughs> we have... Um, a $25 donation from Kerplop that says took today off from work so that I could watch a full day of the marathon and fun fact Titus's Titus's VA let us know in the comments also voices Gnome and Lord Yagris oh I'm gonna yup Yagdrasil there we go and Tales of Symphonia <laughs> Unfortunately, neither of them get to laugh. 
I also have a $9 donation from Vivi. It says, donating $9 for my favorite Final Fantasy IX. So chat. Here's another fun, fun game for y'all. Please consider donating with your favorite Final Fantasy number. However, I believe where there is a minimum $5 donation. So if you have a favorite in your between Final Fantasy 1 and 5, either add 16 to that cuz there's 16 Final Fantasies or donate 5 and let us know in the comment which one is your favorite. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Obviously mine's 10, but it's also 9. And I, I am partial to 16, actually. You have oh, to do yeah. maths if you like the first three. <laughs> maths? I can't count. Hey, definitely. Yeah, I know. I love that you love it. It's such a good... It's so sweet, though. Like, you can't not like it. It's just nostalgia, isn't it? They are all great and all different. Yeah, That's the thing they are. And with 16 coming out, it made me really... And I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone, don't worry, but it made me really appreciate that about it. That it's just so different but romantic. Like, it has that core every time. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. I like that no one is saying 15. Sorry. <laughs> what was I saying? We love 15 too. I'm sure there's 15 it's, fans. It's a good run. It's 15 fans. I like it. I I replayed it recently a little bit, and I can I really do like it. My <laughs> opinion about fifteen is striking is fun. Warp striking is honestly fun. It's fun. Yeah, you do. It's a like lot. really. It's that's it. It's not fun, but it's really atmospheric when you get absorbed mm. in it. You know, like I actually yeah. was role playing in it, and that's when it was good. <laughs> It's a role so I'd love game. to see them embrace that more. I'd love to see more of that, especially with Baldur's yeah. Gate having come out. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a very important fight to Final Fantasy X runners. You guys want to explain yeah. why? Well, um, bas basically, this is where it opens up a junction in in which you'll have like, is it three variations of menus? Three. Um, yeah. Depending on which loot you get, you'll have to follow a different route, basically. And it's random what which one you get, so you just have to keep an eye on the loot here. And also it's really important to to have the either fire gems or water gems to overkill as well, because if you don't get the overkills, that will basically end. Super two! You'll we'll have to try again. Nice. Nice. This is so the two friend spheres and two uh, return spheres is actually the the fastest one. It's the sure. second fastest one. Oh, so it is. Yeah. So friend spheres are still the biggest. So friend spheres as a rare drop, but th the problem it's with 1%. four spheres is since it's a rare drop, mm. you get them so rarely that speedrunners usually it's don't like, know how to use it. That's why I always like, think this yeah. one's the fastest. But optimally, yeah. four friends is faster, but. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But you yeah. never practiced that one. Never ever <laughs> have I practiced that one. I practiced it once and it went <laughs> so badly. Um, I remember I got four friends spheres once in a run. I was eight minutes ahead and I lost it all. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, I do that. The other fun fact casually about Biron and Yankee is that. The HP scales with Kimari's HP. So if you give Kimari lots of HP, they can have a ton of HP. Was it like up to 50 million all this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. Silly. It's so much. Okay, so now we're going to use one of those friend spheres. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is nice and easy. So we are going to be Funera beautifully right now. And... We're gonna use to do it. Yeah, so basically you're just using like the the other characters with their excess uh, movement that the sphere levels that they've got available to to use the friend spheres to get you know, like to not have extra sphere level requirement on Yuna basically. Hmm. 
So we get free, t free movement with our loot. And that's why it changes drastically, because obviously if you have no friend spheres, then you can't use Lulu, and that's when you have to use your return spheres instead. So. Yeah. And this this is a long... <laughs> this is a Mount long Mount Gagasa is, is a long, long running section, and it's kind of... It's a really notorious part of the run, because yeah. it, it's right after no encounter on it. And obviously because we're doing this category, which is you can't predict the RNG, it's uh, really yeah. not a good idea to go for the no encounter armor because it's going to be totally random and it's got very, very minimal chances it, of happening. It doesn't so, work anyway. <laughs> it doesn't it's work banned. at all. It's banned. You Don't can't do even... Oh, it's banned. Good. Yeah, so even <laughs> if you got it, it wouldn't work. But but for other categories, you'd have no encounter armor for here and it, it yeah. saves so much time that the run has crafted itself around that idea yeah it's like um, six minutes and that's almost. what's really good about this category is that it defies that and so like not, not just you have to endure all the encounters yeah <laughs> there, there was a time people grinded for that for the, the ominous sub 10 on ps2 which reminder this is eight hours into a run so people like yeah, ran this exactly. game for eight hours in order to then have a very minimal chance to get that armor yeah it's uh, it's rough, awesome. and that's why it's been so cool that we have the RNG tracking and everything. It's it was really kind of like needed. Yeah, it was, and it was a community. <laughs> and it's effort been as hard well. work. I don't know anything about, you know, the kind of technical knowledge you'd have to to really understand what the community has done. Oh yeah. With with the tools that they've created for this run and it saves a lot of time. The it's tools incredible. Are fantastic, yeah. It, it's basically it's a it's honestly magnificent how yeah. optimized this run is. And it's so easy to miss that because it's such a long run. But it's yeah. had so much cool things and all these skips lately too. Really cool run. It's amazing because this was all optimized for four CSR as well. Yeah. So people were doing ten hour runs just to figure out how to get all this stuff down. That's insanely wild and so beautiful. Like people literally ran 10 hour games over and over. Krasnikan uh, VI, um, I apologize if I'm not saying his name right, but he got the world record. And he got the world record the day before we discovered how to get no encounter armor. And he spent a year speed running Final Fantasy X. We did Final Fantasy X over and over and over and every time he would go to that cave and he would look for a ghost and he would look for no encounter armor and it took him a year of running and he got it and then literally the next day we discovered we could track it like that was a year in in the in the making it's so cool i love that i feel sorry for carnican carnican but like that's the amount of effort people go through for this game so we get to like eight hours in the run and then it would die. He could not continue. I'm gonna put a Riku in here. No, not. Just wanted to step in real quick and say that we are six dollars away from being halfway to that DDR super hard difficulty showcase. So chat, if you like Ultros, who donated $6 to Malala Fund, if Final Fantasy VI is your favorite, and maybe you think, like they do, that Kefka is a way better villain than Sephiroth, fight me, <laughs> then donate $6 and make sure to mark it towards that showcase. And if you disagree, donate your favorite game, maybe donate whatever villain you think is actually better than Kafka. No one is better than Kafka. And also that was incredible. Can you redo that fight? That went happened a bit quickly. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was crazy. What a shot. That's the time of 2-2. Just getting that crit. Yeah, I didn't even have to use Riku. So normally in that fight, 
you'd um, use Riku and a Chaos Grenade, but because of two, the power of 2-2, two, two, we don't have to do oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's right. It ch- that's right, yeah. yeah. So it, it, ch- it basically, with the f- two friend spheres or more, it mm-hmm. saves time from just getting those strength up front. Yeah. So that's... If you get the other way, it's like, it, I think it's like four or five hits with Yuna. Uh, it's Something like that. Five or six, yeah. Yeah, Depending it's on quite it, lengthy. Um, yeah, it is. It's fun and stressful, but it's it's not as quick as that. The current world record is four returns as well. I'm just saying, someone needs to get in there with a 2-2. Two, because two. that's just an instant time save. It is. Don't it's, say that uh, too loud. Some people go for the, for the Yodlo Black script. That is true. We do that. We're crazy. Uh, the biggest trial of them all is about to happen, by the way. I've seen Renos lose minutes to this bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. It reminds me, have you ever done uh, Bright Root, though? Which one? Have I have ever done what, sorry? Bright Root for Bahamut Root. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I came... Yeah, I started running this, I think, just after Bahamut was discovered. Yeah, so th- so yeah. that, that's the thing. It had such a huge change, and I I uh, didn't run it at that point. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so Bahamut so probably at this point, I don't know, five years old? Yeah, five years yeah, uh, Which, I it mean, is, you can like, see why it is pretty <laughs> strong. But mm-hmm. so the route beforehand was, it's actually just like five minutes slower, oh. I believe. Um, There's a lot more skill that, involved. It is not that much. So what you did was you got a chocobo in Calmlands, and you went oh, to yeah. uh, uh, the chocobo racing and got Wings of Discovery, and then with trio of nine 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 nine, we we have successfully ignored the mini game enough to not troll us. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, Riku is able to use Wings of Discovery to mix. Um, yeah, three of nine, 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 which means that we attack of the three party members that get that is deals nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine damage. And then you use bribe on a fire flan in order to get lots and lots of fire chains. We love fire Which then all dealt like uh, six times nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine damage when you use them. Mm-hmm. So uh, you use that, and you also use uh, Lulu's Overdrive, don't you? Originally. No, you actually don't use it. Because you have fire gems. Ah. You, you just had fire gems, which is... Uh, it, it's tough ah. to get the... So the Overdrive that you had, um, like on other characters, you used Entrust in order to give it to Riku. Ah, that's really cool. I like that. I'm always scared of Lulu's um, Overdrive, because... Yeah. Yeah. No sphere grid still uses it, and you get eight. Yeah. Lulu's uh, overdrive <laughs> is no sphere grid exclusive. Yeah. It's kind of uh, yeah. It kind of adds the fire gem without using fire. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's an edible. The the flans do look tasty though. Not you these know, it's, ones. It's, I, you know, it's really hot here in France. It's black. <laughs> I took into it's... that right now. It's black! So it looks it's black juicy. gooey. I, 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 I have seen less appetizing things with people. Eat. Yeah, that's the mm. thing. It's not the worst. <laughs> that is true. I will point out as well that um, uh, the t- s- Waka, if he's in your team and meets a, a, behemoth, a, beh- a behemoth, um, he might say, Hey, how many steaks do you think we can get out of these? So they're all thinking about food right now in my head. Like, they're just hungry. They just want to go to a restaurant or something. That's the thing, though. These animals would make up their food. Like... Oh, no. I don't know right. whether they... They don't really go into it to much detail, but, like, they might yeah. eat flans and things. That'd be so, cool, though. <laughs> okay, so, um, so if I'm going to ruin that because at the beginning of the game Lulu explains that fiends are actually people. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> so fiends people. are actually the souls okay. of people yeah. who've died who can't accept their death. So, so they're, they're not real things. Monsters. They're not real no. living things. Yeah, they're just no. like the pie of flies. Yeah. The, you can't eat those, right. sadly. 
No. But it does look it does look like hydrating. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, guys, chat, I need to explain something to you. It's always fireflies. Any plot holes you have, it's fireflies. Always Is it fireflies. like that in every FF game? Can no. you imagine? That's the explanation for every FF game. It's like crystals I mean, or fireflies. Oh yeah, in FF8, it's just the sorceress messing with yeah. people in time travel. Fireflies are responsible for time compression. Now that, that's a new one. Mm, now it's down a rabbit hole. <laughs> that actually makes sense. And then the next time people are like, so starting the, from disc two, squalls all fireflies. Yes. Because you got like stabbed in the chest. It was very dramatic. You it's could die from just something the like that. And the blue black spell, but it's really dramatic. Yeah, the CV says that it's not gonna say. Yeah, Nikki's right. Uh, Squall doesn't die. So if this is where you come in and say yes, he does. I I can't keep up with the FF8 fan theories. That's fair. <laughs> um, we know her is Ultimicia. That's a good one. I, 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 like, I like when that I one. first heard that, I was like, "Yep, that sounds actually right. That would fix some clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one a lot, actually. Um, Does Ten have any? I've heard some strange Ten ones too. I've heard some really Does weird Chat know? ones. Yeah. Has anyone got what? any good Final Fantasy myths? Yeah. Or, or story theories, because um, there is one which I really like, which is oh no. I did a bad, but we'll do it anyway. Um, I like one where uh, everyone just assumes that Orin is drunk all the time. Because he's got Nog around his, his belt. Yeah, that flask's holding alcohol for sure. Right, that's on me. That's fine. This should survive, yeah. Yeah, but nothing is. We, we just get an animation for content. Yeah, okay. animation for content. So, the real way to do that fight is to get our armor break, but um, I decided against that. <laughs> totally unilaterally decided to go against Grey Fox. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get that now though, because it's quite important. It's okay. Quick update we are now over halfway to that DDR super hard <laughs> difficulty showcase. Um, and we are only $121 away from $65,000. What? We had, um, wow. real quick, we had a $50 donation oh, no, from Purple girlfriend. CFP, who said Final Fantasy X was my very first introduction to the wonderful Final Fantasy franchise and my favorite game of all time, Go Kagar. Thank you. And we also had $11 from Kanzen, who says Final Fantasy XI has the greatest villain, Shantoto. Shantoto, yes. She's evil. And so cute, though. Um, I just saw Grey Fox in the chat get upset. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grey Fox. Um, any more donations as well, by the way, because this is just like a little quiet bit, but I will have to reset the game. Um, no worries. We have a $5 donation from Amiga9000, who says okay. best Final Fantasy is Obelisi? World of Final Fantasy, where all FF is in it, and you can ride on a Chocobo or Serbi Serbius, colon D. The big D. Gotcha. Uh, and a $100 donation from Anonymous that says the best Final Fantasies are multiples of six. Twelve. Twelve and six. Twelve and six. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for all those <laughs> donations. We really appreciate it, especially the $25 from Anonymous that says DDR. DDR. So, chat, keep flagging your donations. 
put some towards the hard difficult super hard difficulty showcase and also make sure to mark the some as well for that beat mania encore set and reminder that $25 today will get you in for some of the big prizes that are open right now, such as that Zelda cutting board, a Nintendo Switch Lite with Tears of the Kingdom, and, or the Lord of the Mountain Needle Felt, which is absolutely gorgeous. And all of those, all available right now if you put in a minimum donation of $25. Go get your stuff, guys. The, the prizes are adorable, by the way. Yeah. They're so pretty. Yeah. I want them. Everyone in the chat's arguing about Final Fantasy. They love the boss, which is adorable. This is why I came here. This is why I'm here. Do, do you want the wholesome as a magic uh, answer to that last donation? Ooh. Every number can be a multiple of six. Mm. If you multiply it by a half, you get FF3. And Whoa, so Nikki. So every you're playing with halves here? No, point five, yeah. Halves. Oh boy, oh, no. can't. We can't. <laughs> You've ruined it. <laughs> that's like true, that, though. That's Whoa, no. Numbers are really complex. But that also means that Final Fantasy 2 is considered the best Final Fantasy, and I can't live in that world. Thank I don't you. Really they're, all, they're all the best ones. If you I can halve, quadruple, whatever numbers, then they're all the best ones. <laughs> That's true. Numbers mean nothing. It's all yeah. what's in our hearts. Exactly. So since I got the uh, overkill with, uh, amazingly, with Seymour, I'm good. And therefore, I don't have to pick up an extra kill with you now. I'm on 2 2, so I'm well ahead. And um, I don't have to pick up the friend sphere, which is just down there, which is what you have to pick up if you get the four return spheres, which is, again, the most likely and the current world record. So we've got um, those guys are very good to kill if you feel like you're low on AP. They can get killed by one hit from Barbie. And yeah. we're about. To... Yeah, go for it. Um, I was just gonna say that he is like a good place in general for a lot of catch up with anything yeah. that because you are so strong at this point, you can just one shot okay, or two shot yeah. everything. Okay, so I've got one more sacred, I think, and it's gonna start now. And also, get your blocks out because it's Tetris time. We haven't talked about it. But, so yeah, bas as you were able to see, so basically how it works is that Bahamut strength scales with Yuna's, or that scale with Yuna's stats. And that, but I think he gets, like, I mean, Barbie, of course. Barbie gets, like, four times the strength Yuna has or something? But yeah. It's just the reason why, like, if you have Yuna four strengths and Barbie has 16 strengths, and that's just how quickly... How quickly this accelerates into these incredible numbers that we are able to see. Um. There you go. All done. Let me use that. There we go. Right. Oh no, I have to do Tetris. Everyone concentrate. Yeah, this kidding. this part's annoying. It's hard to remember it all because there's so many different rooms, like different configurations that you have to sort out. And mm -hmm. I mean, like, no one actually does the puzzle. The they just follow the notes, right? So yeah, everyone. <laughs> it's everyone it's hard. Does. You get like three seconds of Titus standing there long enough to check what where the next place to go is really and it's tricky to do that <laughs> especially so there are people that are in. able to remember this but i think I, cream can yeah but I, honestly i'm like yeah just, just give, give me notes there's nothing myth, wrong with yeah. looking at notes <laughs> while while looking, you have looking at notes. like while you're standing there and waiting for the animation anyways 
Yeah, if you want to save your time. Read the notes. You've got time to read the notes, yeah. And it's Let's really lovely in the notes. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> so at some point the, you might guess the word by heart, but... I'm sure yeah, you if can. You've, like, you don't need to go on a journey specifically to learn it by heart. But um, no. in the notes, it's re it's just a picture as well. Like, it's super easy to follow. The notes are wonderful for this game. And obviously, in a Final so Fantasy good. run, that's really fundamental to, to learning how to do it for most people, I think. Yes. Um, and we have excellent notes. People have put a lot of time and care into making them as, like, easy to read during a run or, you know, it's... Big yeah, shout really out good. to Mutsuki for his Final Fantasy IX run and Awesome Waves for his Final Fantasy VIII run because both of those are incredibly readable and very useful, especially for beginners. So if you're yeah, interested in printing anything, yeah. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, every FF has really good notes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've read the seven ones, but seven scares me. <laughs> That's true. Seven is a scary run, and I think it's, so it's hard to put that into a notes oh, that would be accessible without yeah. much learning beforehand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but when I'm talking about these runs specifically, yeah. these are runs that you can jump into and follow the notes without doing any homework, usually. I agree. Yeah. I... So that's, that's why they're really good. You don't have to like study it for months or whatever. Oh, absolutely not. You can, right, if you picked up the walkthrough for this run specifically and played it tomorrow, you would finish. As long yeah. as you follow the instructions perfectly, you can run this game and finish it in one go uh, as a speed run. Anyone can do it, promise. It's a nice weekend vibes kind of run. I it think is. Final it's Fantasy lovely. runs. Yeah. Can you see how relaxed I am right now? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> it's like, perfect for marathons. Perfect for marathons. And not only that, but there's going to be a person. If you guys put money in, you're going to watch a person do super hard on a dance mat. Yeah. And I'm just sitting back in my chaise lounge. <laughs> and I just knocked my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> Big shout out to all the runners. In all the runners, yeah. Rainford Tells is always one of my favorite marathons. So fun! I'm so glad to be part of it. It's it's a surprise, a huge surprise. Um, I'm genuinely moved by the whole thing. <laughs> I'm very uh, <laughs> very emotional. Well, we are super happy to have you, and so is Chat. Yeah, because we had a twenty five. We had a $25 donation from Satan herself that says wow. Kagar smashing this marathon of a run. Mario in hard mode, sign me up. Can we get a $5 hype train with everyone's favorite Mario character so that we can get this incentive going? And hey. chat, we are only $190 away from being at the $2,000 mark for that DDR. And we are only... $36 away from $65,000. So can we get a hype train going right now? Let's go. I would love to see it. Can. Okay. This is the last of the Tetrises as well. It's almost over. Oh my god. Perfect time for a hype train. Perfect time for a hype train. Because got, you've got some incredible boss fights, like the best in any Final Fantasy. Agrees. It's almost the final stretch, guys. And an amazing cutscene, but well. Well, you could cut conjure the childhood memories. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, this is it. You can always skip all cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we skip it's even so that one. It's so good, though. I know it's so good. I, I genuinely miss them. Yeah, like, me too. Like, all of the Auron bits at this point, it's just, ah, oh, so emotional. It's so good. Again, guys, <laughs> you are not getting spoiled right now, really. But if you've never played Final Fantasy X, this bit yeah. kicks, but... This is such a good bit. Uh, uh... This is Marge Simpson boss. <laughs> it's the blue hair. 
<laughs> that's I love that's that. how crazy you go late into like a, a long one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, much like the other buses, it's just as simple as just, uh, you know, like one or two shot in these. No. It really is that straightforward towards the end. Oh, miss! Ah, that's normal. This bus is insanely fast, so uh, don't worry about it. If you get hit a couple times, uh, Bahamut can take it. Barbie can take it. Both of those sound weird. Actually, be the boss that is like the damage attack for which we get all the defense and HP mm -hmm. yeah. in order to tank two attacks from Spectral Keeper. Yeah, I think that's that's right. Actually, I believe even at BFA we don't get that low on HP. No, uh, I don't need to do that. So I only have one sacred left, guys. Ah. Also, the final one. Yeah, the final one's the one before the the big boss. Um, I will also say, touch the safe sphere there, because this next fight's going to make squeaky bum time seem very fun. Yeah, Wait, this, that sounded wrong. Th this boss, um, it's one of those save points where you just run past it a lot. Yeah. And I think this is probably where I've died the most in runs. <laughs> really? It, yeah, like, just, I always forget that. It's really important to save because she hits it hard. Is. You, if you come into this fight without touching it, you're probably going to die. You will die, I don't, yeah. Yeah. 65k hype, and also 65k for me as well. Hey! Yeah, we just... Yeah. We just ticked past that chat. I'm so proud of you! Well done, everyone. Hell yeah. This is it! Beautiful. We're doing it! Now is the time! <laughs> exactly, it's like the perfect time as well. It is. Because in the story, this so is where hype. Oran would lead us to our destiny, essentially. This is what he's been training for or for defy, 10 years. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> just to defy destiny. Defy it! This is a really good boss. Also, it is. If you are playing Togo, this is a good pee break as well. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna. Oh, wait. Hey. Ah. Oh, no, Lulu. So, so, in that fight. Huh? I'll let you finish. You're gonna explain it. In that fight, so we can do. get a zombie, to, uh, a zombie weapon. If it's a weapon. It's useful, promise. What were you gonna say? Yeah, I was just gonna say about the zombie weapon too. So it's it's just one of those things you either get one or you don't. And yeah, you, you do, usually yeah. don't. It's perfect. And it helps. We'll point it out when we get to it, but it's for later on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the best one is still Lulu. I always appreciate Lulu. Yeah. So. Actually, I don't know, Lulu's like... It's just cute. <laughs> yeah. I, I just like it. <laughs> it's so slow though, I have to give it's it so points slow. for that though. Realism. Uh -huh. Realism, course, yeah. But, but it's tempting but it to say swag. Lulu. You almost it, had me. It, 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 it is the most swag of all weapons. So swag. Yeah. I mean, you almost convinced me, but I'm not going to change my mind. <laughs> if it was a Moomba, it would actually be necessary to me. That's the thing, though. I wish we could use Lulu's weapons in the games because mm. they're so cool. Like, yeah. there's even the Moomba. I don't understand. Like, but it is. It's just painfully slow. This so and does no damage. It's like the most useless little cool thing in the game, I almost. Know. It's like, how do they run? What is it's like happening? it is an Easter egg, almost, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is. And you know, it's very cute as well. All right, first place we're going to go to is not the first thing on the list, so we can't turbo this. I have seen very good runners do that. <laughs> okay. So, this is a bit where you can watch an entire scene if you click the wrong button. 
don't do it. I have done it twice in a row. I must thank you. So. So. Well. Well. This bit. We defeat you, Yevin. And if you don't click that, you have to listen to them contemplate stuff. Also, do not the talk to Walker at this point because he has an emotional moment where he decides that he's not going to be a bigot anymore. I am very proud of him, but that will play if you talk to him. So never talk to him. It's irrelevant. Okay, uh, this is going to be some boss fights where there will be enough time to put down some donations, I think. Wonderful, because we have some coming in for that Mario hype train. Yay. We had a $5 donation from Squato saying, Alright, my favorite Mario character is Yoshi, but I'm only telling you because Satan made me. Nice. <laughs> Uh, and we had a $50 donation from Chaos Peach saying, oops, was it five or 50 train tickets? Princess Peach will take the whole car then. Much love to the runners, hosts, and tech team. Thank you. We also had $25 from Robert who says, five tickets for the Mario hype train, please. And $25 from Zeta Marge, who says, Super excited for DDR Mario Mix, less than three. Obviously, Luigi is the best answer here, so let's give him a little time in the spotlight. And just an update there for the bid war for whether we are dancing as Mario or Luigi, there is only a $3 difference between those two. So, when you put in your donations, Try to split some money between that bid war and unlocking that super hard difficulty showcase and maybe throw a little as well towards that Beat Mania Encore set as well. Let's make all of these things happen, chat. And in the meantime, I am killing um, Sin's arms with impulse attacks because it's uh, ranged. So. It's all connected to strength as well, so it makes it very easy. And for this bit, right, I have a question. Really quick, um, do we just go for the zombie weapon? Because I can get it. Then it might be more funny for the end. I think you guys deserve to see the Lulu weapon, so yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it, yeah. For it. Let's just get the weapon and see which one it is. Because you are guaranteed a zombie weapon from this fight, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. My Come on, we, we want to see again. it. It might be 50 50. Let's just do it and see what happens. Yay! So, uh, it takes forever to die. It should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's not like the, the big time. So, basically, this is like a 5 10. Well, it's pretty lengthy. It's pretty lengthy death scene, death scene yeah. It takes his time to leave. Go but away! But it's basically. An it's just a second. At, uh, yeah, it's an opportunity second to get us. It's an opportunity to get a zombie weapon, but also if you have, is it four friend spears? I think you also need spears from this, right? Yeah, you do, yeah. So sometimes the route will call for you to it's kill you, the yeah. extra, but... I think that's a Yuna. I'm just going to double check that. Uh, yep, we have a Yuna. Nice. Pretty fast one. Yeah, that's fast. And not only that, but I feel like it's appropriate for um, for the run to have you do the bonk. Yeah. So we're finishing it with a bonk. Honestly. We're gonna finish it with a bonk, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that makes sense to me. Um, also, we this is um, this game has turned into airship running simulator. Um, just for this little bit. But we're gonna go and talk to you and about our feelings now. And I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it. But that bit's very emotional. And the yeah, you have to amazing. play it to find out what the emotions are. And let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> Their emotions are right. There's so much <laughs> feelings. And the music's yeah. amazing for that bit as well. I'm really sad I didn't get to hear it. Yeah. That's the thing with the cutscene remover. It, obviously, with 
the nature of what it's doing, it's kind of messing things up a little bit, so... Mm -hmm. You do get to... You don't get to hear all of the songs. I know. Sad. Lulu's theme's really good as well, but you only get to hear that if you've got your jumble, so... You do get to do that if you do Nemesis Percent. Oh, yes. Let's talk about <laughs> Nemesis Percent. Do you want to spend 20 hours um, capturing 10 of every monster in this game in one sitting? Well, have I got the run for you. Um, yeah, this... <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> no. FF games are big and that when you do the bigger categories, they get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> it's the model of all FF. Huge. 100% or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, so, they're long. Yeah, they are. But they're also but cool really throughout in ways. They do. Yeah, exactly. You wonder why we have a custom remover. By the way, even... Oh, we got the crit! Nice. 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 We got the season. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, um, even with the um, cutscene remover, Nemesis for Sun is still 17, 18 hours long. What I'm saying is don't do it. I think the appeal of those really long runs are the route in that it's really fun. Oh. Like FF, Final Fantasy VIII, 100% is awesome. really cool with the route in and I'm sure Nikki can agree on that. Especially with Since the Yeah, Nikki still has done a lot of it. I'll be right back. <laughs> you both but, um, have. Um, but, well, no, I've ran it, but I've never really routed anything in. Really? Uh, Were you just, uh, because your uh, I remember, like, uh, your 100% was one of the first ones that I watched with you. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. That was, that was literally Nikki's route. Really? Really? Early card yeah, I, I was a person that made, so the category made, made, was made by someone else, but they didn't know much about the speedrun, and I was the person who applied all the speedrun strats and yeah. more onto, the, onto what was defined as the category. Yeah. Guys, we are getting speedrunning Final Fantasy history right here. It's fascinating. That's isn't the it? thing. I think a lot of people. If, if we had 10 hours of FF10, I could give you another six hours of Final Fantasy speedrunning history if you so want. Exactly. To. <laughs> Did you hear that GDQ next time? Content. I'll be right back. Chat, if you want more content for Final Fantasy, <laughs> donate now and let us know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, um, any donations as well, because this is one of the last uh, bits where I'll we right have back. encounters. Um, yeah, we have a... $25 donation from Lucy2005 saying, Hi all, it's been a fantastic week so far. I'm sad it's almost over, but I'm so glad it happened. Congrats right all back. runners, staff, volunteers, and mods. You all are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for that cute donation. Thank you. And we are only $5 away you from making it to $2,000 for that super hard difficulty showcase. <laughs> Chat, uh, if we could get to now, it may be a bit of a stretch, right but I would love if we could get to two thousand five hundred dollars out of the three thousand five hundred needed for that yeah. DDR showcase before the end of this run. I, so I would love time. that. That might be a bit of a challenge right now, but I would be so happy, I think. Hagar would be so happy. I think I all of us would be so hype if we could make that happen. So let's let's go. Let's keep that Mario hype train. Keep telling us what your favorite Final Fantasy is. And as well, tell us your opinions in your donations because we have a conclusion from our Twitter poll. 67 <gasps> 0.4% of you said that it is pronounced Titus. And chat, if you do not agree, let us know. Because <laughs> I'm, I think, I don't know, I think we all disagree here I, on, I the, on the screen. Yeah. No, it's so for Greece. Uh, 
If you agree with Soph, let us know. Yes. <laughs> I try I'm scared of influence the vote. <laughs> no, you can't do that. I did say you? Titus, so we should have been unbiased to see the real result. <laughs> we'll never know. We need to be even more biased. To, yes, then we have to embrace Thank you, it. Jaime. Vote Titus. <laughs> Titus. Get those get those Otis. Otis. in there, guys. Totus! It's Totus Erectus. Okay, here Tita. we go. Tita! I thank him. So that is like at the end of Seymour, I'm afraid. He will never come back ever again. Um, that fight is necessary. The armor break is necessarily for him and Sanctuary Keeper. Um, oh god. The most important note CS and CSR's are music breaks. This music is a banger. Yeah, yeah. that's such a shame. Like a genuine shame. It's um, probably the best one in the game. Yeah, it is. It's best boss music, yeah. Apart from the next one, get your guitars out, guys. We've got about five minutes. That's true. Roll the best song. Mm-hmm. Unless you're Budcap, who hates it. <laughs> <laughs> People just have bad tastes, and also I that know, is yeah. mine. That makes everyone unique. I know. Mm. You can have that toast if you want. I won't go so easy on you next time. Oh, they're all arguing in um, that as well, which I love. It's a Japanese game, it's Tidus. Sorry. Am I being part of it? Am I am I wrong? I I see I was genuinely surprised that Tidus ended up being the the bigger one because oh. I feel like I'm the only person who says Tidus in speedrunning. <laughs> It's like, here we go again. <laughs> like, crazy. But, like, here. obviously, we all just went so with Titus as kids Bobo, or whatever. Bobo. Sorry. Yeah, we all went with Titus because that's what we said when we were kids until. That's Game the Bob thing. They didn't, one. like. It's the same for the earlier ones as well because they didn't vocalize the name, right? So we never knew. Yeah. Right Don't now. even get started on how to say squall. Or should I say squall? Squall. <laughs> I will say, like, this is the first game where they had voice acting for Final Fantasy. And it's just really funny to me that everyone argued over the first character you play who has a voice. It's just amazing. Like, no one cared when we didn't know how to pronounce Zidane or Zidane. But everyone cares about Tidus because he speak. I don't know, I think it's a common thing with FF games, like... We all argue about that, it, yeah. It, it was, like, so... It managed to break into markets that it was unknown territory in the games industry mm -hmm. for Final Fantasy to succeed. So, mm. you know, all types of kids read it differently, and I think that's yeah. why it's really popular. I think that's really beautiful, yeah. Also, this bit sucks. No! Right, so we're avoiding the those things, and we want these things. Um, the fights I think in it's here. Trigger right? encounters. Yes. So. And Go even right. worse, once you get hit by but you get hit by one, all the others on screen are become invisible. So mm -hmm. you might just accidentally run into the next right into the next one because it didn't actually disappear yet. <laughs> this K God's doing excellent at this, like it's really hard. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know when I have last seen someone being so optimistic and just running through <laughs> everywhere. It's like, like a believe, masterclass. Of for for many years, I feel like all all the people always like stutter steps through here. Yeah, this is uh, how we should all be doing it. I think. There you go. Oh, I think I have. Excellent. That was nice. really awesome. Thank you. And it's hard to do a good egg hunt. It's hard to hold your yeah. nerve. <laughs> you have to hold your nerve. And in a marathon. GG. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So there is the notorious story of that one nemesis run that died by running into an icicle <laughs> and not having a first strike weapon equipped and then being ambushed and killed. By an amount yeah. Yes. <laughs> <gasps> Who was it? Huh? Who was it? Sarah. Yes. <laughs> that is very sad. This is why he doesn't run anymore. Uh, yeah, that's pro definitely the, the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the last spear grid of the entire game and it's so important that you have all of the speed spheres because oh lord if you don't. 
you need to have all of your speed spheres ready and you need to have all of your levels. Ideally, you want about 17 levels for this bit. And if you don't have them, uh, you tell them. I, this menu, I completely can't remember what we have to do here. Is it just... Our menu was different. I mean, get speed yeah. and get sphere train. Spare yeah, train okay. it's the same thing, yeah. So we don't need any more strength anymore. This is the last fight. Riku has her overdrive. You want Riku to have her overdrive as well, or else you lose. You want to have Yuna in the right position, or else you lose. You want to have everyone in this fight with, uh, when you start this fight, with um, first strike, or you lose. Yeah, it's like really, it's really tight that you yeah. manage to kill it before it kills you, basically. So you've got to meet a certain speed check and a certain strength check as well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll just be sure. And I think with one less agility, you can still kill it, but you can, yeah. Um, but with it's three less, really scary. It's dicey. Yeah. So now we now we rock. Um, it's press X to win. So get your guitars out and pray. Strength check is okay. Whew. I don't know why. I still get nervous about this fight. I, it's just the end game. I think in most speed runs, you get scared yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's like, really, this is, the this is the last boss, essentially. Yeah. This is yeah. the last scary moment. Like, once you've done wood. this, it's like a, a victory lap. I don't have any wood. I have quite a little. <laughs> should, uh -oh. You know, it's like... Beam, on, beam, the other beam, fights beam. You, on the other fights, you actually can't die. It provides mm -hmm. you with auto life, so you'll get knocked down and you just <gasps> come back up and carry on. Bloody Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so the reason why we're happy is because um, Jack can do one of two moves there. Um, he can do a um, big swing of his sword, which Yoda! takes time and is gross. Um, or he can do Mean Beam, which is uh, slower, amazingly, um, for him, so we get a turn in. No, actually, it's quicker than the pagodas, so you get to like slide in, don't you? Anyway, um, this bit here is, um, I, I think it's encouraging towards uh, giving money to someone. So give your money to these guys. Give it to the Malala Fund, while I give my money to my aunts. Also, uh, sorry chicken. Chicken's dead. Chicken Chicken got released. Sorry. So in the story now, they're being possessed by Yu Gavin, who's like this evil, evil guy. Thing. Thing, Someone yeah, else. like evil yeah. power. I think that's yeah. the best way. Evil power. And so like they're not our friends anymore. No. We have to release them and go our own way, like define our own fates without the aid of the summons, which is a very poignant, emotional moment. Like yeah, the, and it never comes up again like, if I might see 22. Yeah, actually, <laughs> they didn't handle that as delicately. No, not really. But, um, yeah, it's a really, like, awesome moment at the end. It builds up a, a lot. Bit, yeah. yeah, it does. Alrighty. So now we're just throwing money at them. If this is not encouraging you to donate money, I don't know what will. Hey. Chat, we are still only five dollars away from that from that two thousand dollar mark for that DDR showcase. If you like Kegar, want to throw money somewhere to accomplish a great cause, consider Malala Fund and donating through exclamation point donate right now. Yes, please. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then we it just gets got... possessed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you go! 
I was gonna say we got $25 right then from Pixel Arrow Bomb that says thank you so much for a wonderful event. This Final Fantasy X run is amazing. Less than three. Thank you very much. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I hope you have. I had a great time. I very much enjoyed myself. Yeah, me too. Let's kill Elsa now. Let's do it! Let's go! Okay, um, sorry Shiva. Elsa, you have to go too. So this route is so perfectly done. Again, we are in awe. This is so perfectly done that we have exactly enough money to kill everyone. It's crazy how optimized this run is. No, we haven't Anubis. We have never summoned Shiva or Ifrit. This is the first time you see them in the run. Actually, Shiva is the first time- this is the first time you see Shiva in the entire run because Ifrit gets summoned by Isaru, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Shiva. Any Shiva fans out there, no Sviga does use her quite a lot. Oh, that's good to know. I think she has a really fast attack, right? Mm-hmm. She's used quite extensively with Anima and uh, Wendigo. And she is very fast, yeah. You could tra you could transfer her for um, Ixion, but Ixion is faster, so... Bye bye! Barbie. You were loved. <laughs> you did great. You did a good job. Good dog. Okay, final hit. Okay, so we're gonna change this to the ductile rods. We're gonna change your weapon to whatever. And then we're gonna bop. And this is time, so this is the final hit. And that's it. Time. Time. <laughs> GGs. Thank you. Awesome run. It's. I just want to say that these runs are really hard to do. Like it's a lot of pressure for four hours. Like you know, it's like a long run, right? And it was awesome. So thank, thank you. you. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. You all did absolutely amazing, and Kagar, thank you so much for sharing this game with us. Where can we find you all? Ah. Uh, so you can find me at Kagar, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Kagar, and I'm also a member of the Chocobo Nights community. Um, please come and hang out. I post a lot of stuff in there. Um, <laughs> next. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can find me at Twitch TV slash Kaguya Nikki. Uh, yeah, I'm just Soof on Twitch. Just yeah, Soof. Soof on Twitch. <laughs> Soof on Twitch. Yes. Um, thank you very much for commentating, you guys. You were thank amazing you and kept me right. <laughs> and it seriously it was really excellent, right? It's not easy, and I would encourage anyone who's a big fan of FF10. There's so much to learn, so much to like just enjoy about this run it's a really good one so it is and it's cutscene awesome. remover makes it very accessible it's like i said still long but you do get some breaks yeah yeah it's been really good nikki do you want to say anything i mean you really rocked the show what else can i say oh, you did great thank and you yeah thanks Blanford house H having all of us here for a great yes. cause thank you Thank you both so much and thank you chat for watching this run. I am just 
I'm so happy with everything that we were able to accomplish. Let me read one more quick donation. Um, you know, as we just saw Kagar do, we had $25 from M the Marvelous saying, using spare change to help defeat you, Yvonne. And we did it. We were able to defeat that boss. And chat, we were able to get $2,070 towards that $3,500 goal for that DDR super hard difficulty showcase. I knew we could do it, and you guys proved me right. So thank you so, so much for that. But, chat, I have to go take a break. But the good news is I will be passing you off to an absolutely amazing host. And this is my last shift also for the event. So this is me saying goodbye, but don't worry because we have an absolutely amazing interview coming up with Kung Fu Fruit Cup and the runners of our Rhythm Games so stick around for that interview, which will be coming up right about now. <laughs> 